Hopefully that works. I mean, if it didn't, who cares? You're just going to hear a vanilla light for the rest of your life, so. But I think that worked. I think I fixed the problem. If it didn't, then well, shit. Fuck me, you know? But I'm sure I fixed it. I am sure, I am sure. Um... I actually want to turn off the vanilla. <laughs> Just hear the vanilla every few seconds. But yeah, I think I fixed everything. Maybe. Never mind. Ah! <laughs> not quite, not quite. Never lucky. Da -da 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 -da. Perfect. I, th I think, I think. Uh, that took me a second. The frame rate was going crazy. I think it's better now. It seems better. It's not well shit, dude. Well shit. We still have a lot of time for uh, round two, though. Let's watch Nino while we wait. Why not, right? Nino! Hello! Hello. <laughs> um, don't know what to do. One another text thing. Yes. Perfect. I am truly a professional streamer. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wait, wait, wait. Well, waiting for next round. Ah. Innovation. I'll just put this on the bottom. Beautiful. <laughs> God, this poor Torkoal, dude. Poor little guy. But somehow lives that, though. <laughs> Never mind, uh... Maybe I shouldn't talk shit about the Torkoal. He's not a poor little guy, in fact. How the hell did it live that? Wait, well, what did I miss? What did I miss, dude? That's insane. I think that was in rain too. I don't think the sun was up, so that's wild. Actually wild. Either way, it still looks like a really good position for uh, Nina. Yeah, we see the taunt. 
Because Thunder is now can this quick eerie impulse for the rest of the game, and it should be over, and Nino should win. I believe uh, Sohide's running the Venu Cole Kyogre Instant Tornadus team, which absolutely sucks into like any Thunderous. And since uh, Nino's is running like Thunderous Kyogre's Asian, this should be like a pretty like free matchup for him, I think. Like, how is he breaking through that Thunderous if it spams Eerie Impulse, it spams Taunt, it spams Thunder Waves? And I just really don't see it, honestly. We are seeing the Water Spot and the Rain Reset, but like... You're taking way too much damage for that, and your Kyogre's now in Sun as well, so it's less effective on its own right. You can just go for another, like, Eerie Impulse here, and then you can, like, just slowly just take, uh, so I battle the game. I think you just straight up Eerie Impulse and you Water Spot, you don't even need to switch. There is no point in switching. So I have to go for like a 50% Thunder if he has it. Connects, and then it still won't be enough to win because the Kyogre, his Kyogre will be at like minus two. And yeah, we see So I that's going for the switch out. But like. Even though he's at full HP though, he's gonna take so much damage here. I think like all the damage trades are this inherently in Nino's favor. Unless, actually, if he goes for a max Hailstorm into this Thunderous, that could uh, start something. Though I think, like, I don't know. I, <laughs> I feel like you want to have that happen once you can for sure bring the Thunderous down, right? If uh, I think you don't Dynamax that turn and you go for like an Ice Beam on Thund instead, and then you Dynamax later, or you have, or you like switch out into Torkoal and have your Instant Flare Blitz the Thunderous slot this turn. I feel like that's a little bit more effective, because we see like right here... So I've used his Dynamax, but he's only getting like a Max Lightning off onto a Kyogre, and he's just going to get Eerie Impulsed again. Well, you can go for a Fake Out, sure, but... Hmm. Actually, no, that's not bad. Yeah, you can just Fake Out. <laughs> you can just Fake Out, huh? Huh, okay, maybe this isn't bad, maybe this isn't bad. I didn't think he still had Dynamax left, honestly. Bono, I can't imagine uh, letting your... So I'm going to put this higher up so it's just obvious that I'm watching someone else. Ba, ba, ba. I don't feel like that's that effective, right? That shouldn't be that effective. It was Zashi in the back still. Thunder's at full HP. I think you go for Flare Blitz, actually. On whatever slot you think switches out. I think going for a Flare Blitz, just to guarantee a knockout is like really good here. You can also go for a Fake Out and a Max Hailstorm, but Fake Out Hailstorm is not going to kill Thund. Okay, good. Flare Blitz. Let's go. Let's go, So Hype. Good play, good play. This needs to not get parried now. Or if he clicked Max Lightning, Nino gave uh, a scenario where Max Lightning actually just kills uh, his Kyogre, so... That's a little interesting, for sure. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh. That's kind of rough for both sides, actually. <laughs> but it's good for Nino, because this gives a quick eerie impulse now, and he got the T-Wave up, so... It still, like, looks very Nino-favored, I would say. Yeah, there's a the cancel. I think the cancel was premature, though, to be honest. I think that cancel is very premature. Are oh, you saw a Torkoal in the back? So I'd like instant. You could possibly like trade a KO there. But there was still like stuff that could technically happen, I feel like. And Nino took like a very big risk on that Thunder Wave though. He could have just lost the slot completely. Overall though, I still can't say enough how much of a good matchup I think this is for Nino. Like, you have Thunderous, you have like Eerie Impulse, you have Thunder Wave, you have so many tools just to make it very hard for a Torkoal, <laughs> Torkoal Venu Kyogre team to get through anything. I think that's just going to be the theme of this matchup, really. And I think, oh, it's already over, so this is a 2-0 for Nino. Unfortunate. I wanted more Pokemon to watch. Wow. <laughs> I want a lot more Pokemon. For it. Yeah, Nino just had a really good matchup there, in my opinion. 
There are more Pokemon I can watch. I just want to watch more Pokemon. Is Aldrich playing? Haha! Aldrich. My replacement. Oh, I'm on the wrong bracket. Um... Yeah, Aldrich's still playing. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's just running this team. Lame. I think the opponent has Palkia Kaliai, if I had to guess. This could I see a Palkia, and I think that's like the only like really good arts type Palkia can play in is this Kaliai stuff. At least in my opinion. I feel like most other arts types that you could technically play Palkia in, it's like why? Like, Zacian uh, Palkia, for example, I think Zacian Kyogre is, like, fundamentally a bit better. Well, you know. <laughs> Hello, Snowy. We're playing with the, the wholesome rainbow bird. Glide Ice Beam. So Aldrich won this game. I wonder if that's just a set. I like that name for Hello. Yes, yes. It is the Wholesome Rainbow Bird. Was that the set? It might have been the set. <laughs> How me this jumped in, I saw a Palkia at like 2 HP. Ah, it's a set, it's a set. Aldrich one. Whoa. Now back to waiting, the classic of every tournament stream. The serial waiting, dude. You're a serial lurk lurker, and I'm a serial waiter as I wait to play Pokemon game, and it never happens. Yeah. <laughs> we just snooze on stream as we wait. Alright, there's like four more games going right now for the rundown. We got four more games. These are the game. Oh. Oh yeah, my setup's different because I had full screen mode on. That's why you can see my tabs now. I forgot I did that because I started like going full screen. But it's whatever. Oh, three now, three now. So we got Angelo, Hunter, Tynator, Runillo, Zeon, VGC, Asgarly, Blizz. Crazy, dude. We also got Tom Hayden, another person who's streaming right now. Tom Hayden 27 on Twitch.tv. And we got little old me at 1-0. I do love little old me. Whoa, that's me, dude. That's me. That's crazy. Whoa. Yes, I should sleep. I agree with that. Sleeping is very cool. Wait, what? What was his title? Freaking love this group for saying these up. Oh, okay. Wholesome. Wholesome. 
Honestly, we might need some counter wholesomeness. I'm going to change my stream title. I hate these people for setting up tournaments. <laughs> yes, yeah, big atmosphere on the limitless page. And now I'm getting off of here. <laughs> Honestly, that's the classic of the tournament stream, though. You just wait and you look at a bracket for like 10 years and you go, Oh, yes, tournament. Yes. <laughs> that is truly the classic, honestly. Luck? No, never mind. <laughs> I was curious if like Lucky Wolf was playing or someone else, but no, it's just uh, Tom Hayden, myself, Aldrich, and uh, Eno who are streaming. In a draft league with Tom? Yeah, he's wholesome. For sure wholesome. That's at least the vibe I got from the title. I've never heard his voice before. To my credit though, I've followed him and I've watched him <laughs> while uh, playing other tournaments. Because he's actually someone who streams these tournaments and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Yeah, the old Tardal is streaming? Oh, Yaliol yeah, is? Yaliol, yeah, Yaliol. Yeah, do, am I not following Yaleo? Or is it like higher up? Uh, I not be following Yaleo. Um, oh, no, I am. I am. Never mind. I see him. <laughs> like, huh, I always follow like every VGC player. But yeah, I see it. With his Series 7 team, is he just not running restricted? If so, I don't want to play him because I'm running Hello and that wouldn't be very cool. Oh, he's wanting... Uh. <laughs> yeah, Leo. Oh, he won. <laughs> he won. He won. What the heck? Is he running Cole? He's using Solg and Yveltal. I mean, Metagross and Gower Trez. Oh. He has Restricted. So what is he complaining about? They're literally Restricted Pokemon. Metagross has to be a restricted, dude. He can't be complaining, dude. It's not fair. <laughs> Honestly, cannot be complaining. This video is only- damn it. <laughs> I wanted to see what his 6 was. I was curious. <laughs> but his videos are sub-locked, so now I'm crying and I'm bored still. x Nine League with? Oh. Ew. I don't even remember what that was. Okay, there's only one more match left. It's Zayon VGC versus S. Garly. It's in game three. It's in game three. Metagross, Galar, Moltres, P2, Grimstarl, Entei, and Rotom Wash. Oh my god, he literally has, uh... Wait, no... Okay, none of those match a different legendary. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, oh my god, he literally has Grout on it or some shit. But then I just looked at his team and I'm like, oh. He has an Entei, Grim, P2, and a Rotom Wash. None of those typings match up. Actually, if you if really if you think really hard about it, P2 is basically a Lugia. <laughs> if you think really hard about it, you see they're bulky and uh, yeah, they're bulky. <laughs> That's where the comparison ends. You see, uh, Grim is basically there. <laughs> But yeah, I, I got nothing, dude. I got nothing. The whole bit was ruined when I saw the rest of his Pokemon. Best I got is Entei to Groudon, but that's it. It's the Series 7 P2 set? Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, it's no Leo. That's so rude to Lugia, what the fuck? Lugia can't do anything to you? Why should you do anything to Lugia? It's so rude. It's like completely unprovoked. 
Like, Lugia would literally never hurt you, because it can't hurt you. Y you're saying that? That's this unfair! That's not fair, man. It's not fair. Like, Lugia is so wholesome, and you just go around and do that. Negative damage all the time. You guys are haters, dude. Like, all Lugia does is quick helping hand for his Zacian. Or helping hand for his Aleki partner. That's all it does! Like, that's such a homie, dude. Like, he literally this quick's helping hand. <laughs> Even when I ran weakness policy, all I had to do was quick helping hand 80% of the games. Unless my opponent just walked up and said, Hey, I... I'll give you the weakness policy. You can sweep now. And I'm like, oh, sure, sure. And I s still somehow sweep. <laughs> but otherwise, I just have a quick helping hand for like 20 turns. It does a pretty good job of that. And it's very wholesome. <laughs> Looks very cute while <laughs> giving the handshake to my Pokemon. And I think that's what matters, honestly. Or when it gives the Airstream boost, that's such a good support Pokemon, oh my god. Not even talking about giving the Airstream boost for your Zacian. That's so cool. <laughs> Build the most stupid team ever. Debatable. I, d I felt insulted by that message, because my team is actually cooler. My team- Kaidao Solg. Hmm. Well, there is a Kali Dao and a Solgaleo, so you could probably win like a get second place at a regional somehow. <laughs> there is a Kali Dao and a Solgaleo. So Sol Lunala doesn't have a reason to exist. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Kali Dao Soul though, I mean, it has a reason. So I guess you're right in that sense. <laughs> the funny thing is Mimikyu, because it's quick in the Ghost DMZ, or the Max Ghost into Lunala, yo. <laughs> and then you just have an Amoongus, huge. To walk the soul, easy, easy. Yo, puppy, puppy. Hello, hello. Welcome to the one hello player in the tournament. How's your day? <laughs> Actually, Yoke is playing. There might be two hello players. <laughs> I thought about it. Ho Yoke might be two hello players. Might be two. It is ho -Oh, um ho -Oh, Groudon, you are not leaving. Groudon is so cute. <laughs> how, how can you be disrespectful to good Groudon? Groudon's so wholesome.
<laughs> learning snowy is learning for sure i think there's a lot to learn from someone who is running hello xerneas in any tournament personal opinion there's a lot to learn i don't know if it's anything good but there's a lot to learn <laughs> no no you meant learning you meant learning you can never leave you can never leave no 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 this is a wholesome watch of Mr. Rhyme dance for a five hours stream. That's all we're doing here. <laughs> we're just watching the rhyme. Actually, no, that's just Mr. Mime. It's not Mr. Rhyme. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> You're not allowed. You're under contract. You could never. <laughs> I hope the people who are the last game are also playing Hello. It's a Unite Draft League, Rene. An event mistyped it, so they can't leave now. <laughs> they mistyped it, it's not ZGL, it's GGUL, so they can't leave. <laughs> on God, on God. But if I, I'll tell you event, I'm probably gonna be like tired as hell for that game. But I'm gonna like, I'm gonna find as much caffeine I can drink without destroying myself, and then it will be good. <laughs> the, the plan, the plan. I'm gonna have a lot of tea. <laughs> a lot of tea, a lot of tea. Let's check the Discord for a second. I want to see how many rounds there are. <laughs> how many rounds? How many rounds? Where is it? There it is. As I'll tell you, there's like so many channels in the Lily the Valley server. It's insane. There's so much. It's overwhelming. Six. There's only six rounds. It's good for me. <laughs> Top cut of eight. Aw. Oh. I wanted to go 4-0 and just fall asleep for two rounds. <laughs> that, that, that was the plan. The whole plan. Just waiting on rounds, no actual battle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. You just get to hear me talk for like three hours while I play absolutely zero games because everyone has fear aura because they're playing against Hello and that scares them. Event, you just you have all the moves you need, which are Aerial Blast, Earth Power, and Helping Hand. Everything else is irrelevant. <laughs> well, you could run Recovery or like Call Mind in the last slot, but it has Flying and Ground Coverage. Everything else doesn't matter. It's not a sweep sweeper in the. It's like playing Yveltal, but you don't have Snarl. <laughs> and you're also weak to everything that Yveltal beats. Which is pretty wholesome, honestly. It's definitely very wholesome. Yeah, it should get help Tailwind. It really should. Like, I would actually think it's more justified to use it if it had, like, Helping Hand, Tailwind, Arrow Blast, Earth Power, and you just ran that as a set. It still wouldn't be played. <laughs> I think Lugia is just one of those mods I don't think we'll ever see high level play. Unless we go back to... I don't know. If we went back to like BDSP legendary format, 
and like Gen 4, then maybe it's more usable. That's because like Gen even though even in Gen 4 though, it's like kinda of flawed. Cause you could run like Cresselia instead. And you're just like, yeah, just run Cresselia, bro. <laughs> this is a little weird. Yeah, they were on Lugia, Zacian, Regieleki, Grim, Arcanine, and they were running Helping Hand, uh, Max Power Move. And there's also John Hu, but that didn't nearly as well. Yeah, they both bolt. That's why I say the best Lugia team is the one that I made. <laughs> With this, you just have Helping Hand plus a uh, thing you Dynamax, and then you click buttons with it. And it actually did pretty well for me. I didn't drop a game with it in the smoke on seasonals. <laughs> da, 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 da. So I only played it for like two sets, but you know. <laughs> Fair enough, right? Fair enough. Da, da, da. I think... Conceptually, Lugia, if you have a Yavaltal comp, you would probably make Lugia work on most of them. Yeah, Helping Hand plus Max, Max Regieleki or Helping Hand plus uh, Zacian. That was the whole concept. But John Hu also did, used something similar not too long ago. I think at like, Salt Lake City, he was running the same team I had for Lugia. And he was running it during the Indy, uh, the Indy State Tour as well. Oh, we had like very different sets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like... Going for self... I think you always want weakness policy on Lugia. Just to make it harder for your opponent to commit a kill on it. But I don't think you ever run self-proc with Lugia for one reason alone. It's just not good to self-proc. It's just not strong enough to make the self-proc worth it. And you have to run like really awkward moves in order to self proc it. You can't do like Aqua Jet yourself or some shit. Oh, I guess you could like surf, but no, you can't surf. I guess you could like Sucker Punch or like Volt Switch yourself, but I don't think that's good. <laughs> Alright, we got a new round. I'm playing Franchi- Fra Francis. Is this Mr. Phoenix? I have no clue. But... Does this mean we actually play a game? Who knows? <laughs> I don't think Call Mine plus Leftovers is good because like, he's so slow. But I am also that's running it for helping hands, so maybe it's actually fine. <laughs> Salt berry fling, it's so true. I do love my ladder strats. My showdown ladder 1200 strats, as they call them. <laughs> I gave you guys the privilege of hearing vanilla light. Alright, um... Geet. Highest I've been on showdown layer ladder, I don't play showdown anymore. <laughs> I haven't tried hard as showdown ladder since like 2019, dude. Why should there be? 
What is there to describe? Also, we're playing Kyogre Kali and I think that's pretty cringe. <laughs> this is a thought, this is a thought. Let's see. Green yellow bird. <laughs> I was thinking of bringing like Hello Gastro, but I decided not to for no apparent reason. I played like zero games with this team in practice. It does look correct for a Ho team. <laughs> Also, another thing about getting highlighter on Showdown, which is notable, then people actually see your team. <laughs> so I don't bother. I just play in like practice best of threes if I want to. Or like occasionally in like up to like 1500 ish. T depending on how much energy I have for that particular day. But overall, I don't tend to. Alright. Is this instant P2? Oh, it's Kaliai Regilecki, sure. Do you think I have Regilecki instant? Alright, um, huh. A very, like, forward lead by my opponent, though, which is a little strange. <laughs> I think has helped me can. You know what? I'm gonna play into that. Now that you said that. I'm gonna all out go for Kali Eye this turn. No, there's no point. <laughs> I thought about it for two seconds, I was like, wait a second, there's no real value in doing that. I'm gonna let him get up Trick Room, because I'm a nice guy and I'm wholesome. That's my new epiphany. <laughs> I am nice guy. He can get Trick Room if he wants it. I won't stop him. See, I didn't stop him. Aren't I wholesome? Okay, he's going for a Dynamax Regilecki, I think. Which is not very wholesome, but... Yeah, that's not very wholesome, dude. That, that is, in fact, not very wholesome. I thought about hard switching into Groudon, but I didn't. On the instant swat. I believe this is... Oh, he is helping Cad! <laughs> that's kind of funny. That is so funny. I'm gonna go out into my Groudon now. <laughs> I really should have just gone for the Groudon hard switch in for my instant slot. But I limped out of it, because this should be a Max Lightning to my uh, instant aura right now, if I had to guess. No, Max Strike. Okay, cool. That works for me, dude. You're not killing. <laughs> You're not killing, bro. That's fine. Is this Life Orb, too? Oh, it's Life Orb. Perfect. Because now I get the party shot into his Dynamax. Get Regilecki back. Do I go for Blades, Volt Switch, or do I just go for a Lightning? I think I just go for a Lightning, to be honest, into the Kali Eye slot. I'm <laughs> getting banned for my name, Dicks out for Jin. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Jin. Alright. Rillaboom? Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's kind of fine, honestly. This might be a max strike again, but honestly, like, who cares, dude? Da, 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 da. This should still be like a 
easy double up kill into the instant after the blade's damage. He could be Shuka Berry though, which is a little bit more annoying, but like I'm still getting a lightning off onto him. Time I got warned and timed out of VGC SD room for asking Borky to fart. Honestly, deserved. <laughs> Thought about it for a second, you know what? Deserved. It died. <laughs> that instant died. I'm not even rising voltage. It just died. <laughs> what is that instant set? How did he die? I wonder if this is a uh, Scarf Kyogre. That's the only way I lose right now. If, if this is like a Scarf Kyogre reveal and I miss my P Blades. Okay, I hit my P Blades. But I don't kill. That is not very wholesome. <laughs> but. Oh, Kali Eye again. Okay. Sure. Um. I think I just quick blades again. Oh wait, I won't be able to get the KO, actually. <laughs> I just realized he's gonna kill me with strike and I won't KO him. That's not very wholesome. That is not very wholesome. I'm actually gonna guard. Let's go to attack, dude. Screw it. No lightning. Ah, the misery. Cool. All right, we going to instant now. I like can this like parting shot, I think game. Yeah, there's Trick Room. So Kyogre's probably coming in here. If I had to guess. Oh, I can't party shot. I'm like low, low HP. I just realized how low HP I am. <laughs> we are a very low amount of HP, actually. In fact, in fact. Um... Okay, how do we do this now? <laughs> I did not realize how low my HP stat would be. So I guess I go for... I do switch in Ho here, obviously. I just go for a Fake Out. The Kyogre. I, I think I still, like, probably win. Like, Ho is very thick. There's no way Ho doesn't win. That's really sun. That's fine. He's gonna be at neutral again though. It's a little spooky. I am faster. How he turns a trick room? That's another question. Uh I think this is bad. <laughs> I thought about it for a sec. This seems pretty bad, actually. He's just gonna spout me. He is just gonna spout me, huh? But I don't see a good out to the spout. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a good out here. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm just gonna quick recover and go for a fire punch and hope I live. That's my new logic. I probably won't. Yeah, this wasn't the best plan in the world, I've come to realize. Holy shit. Uh, this isn't great. That is not great at all, I lose.
I actually lose, no. Okay, it's time to double protect here. Simply. <laughs> I've decided. I, if I get a double protect... Winnable. Yeah, I lost too much health on my Ensign. I lost too much health. That, there was way too much health gone. Double protect. I have friendship. I am very powerful. Yo, I am so good, dude. <laughs> I'm wholesome as hell, dude. Alright, so here's the thing. Because I got the double protect now. Because I got the double protect. Do we think the Kali Eye protects? <laughs> Do we think the Kali Eye protects? If the Kali Eye protects here, then I have to quick recover so he doesn't do enough damage to me. But if the Kali Eye does not quick protect here, then I have the Sacred Fire and I win the game. Hmm. I'm just going to quick recover. <laughs> I've decided actually I'm pretty lame. He's going to quick protect here. I don't want him to protect and get like a free water spout attack on me. That would be pretty bad. Oh yeah, he has helping hand. He can't protect. I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I honestly forgot about that. What a choke. Because now he's just going to get help hand spout off. <laughs> That's not very wholesome. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, actually. Dude, that's such a choke by me. But it doesn't matter, because my hose is not eating any of this, which is kind of insane. I'm going to go for a Sacred Fire crit onto the Kai... <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Burn. Yes, we're goaded. God, that helping hand was so annoying. I, I, I kind of disappointed I forgot about it, though. I don't know how I forgot about it. Like, I just straight up forgot. I was like, oh, he's just gonna protect his Kali Eye here, and then, then all of a sudden, realization. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, it was... Oh, no, dude. <laughs> I guess I kind of deserved that, because I got a double. <laughs> but... I'm pretty sure I could have Sacred Fired, and I quick recover. Well, they didn't double attack, because if they double attack, and I quick Sacred Fire into Kali Eye, I win the game. So the decision was actually smart to quick Helping Hand there. I just completely forgot about it. Because <laughs> I think I should have always have quick Sacred Fire into Kali Eye, but my brains told me, oh, the Kali Eye is going to protect here, after already seeing Helping Hand. Which, uh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but that's what my brain told me. And regretfully, my brain did not help. <laughs> it did not help me there at all. But the scary thing, now we know he's like Life Orb and he's like fucking Helping Hand Kali Ai. This game's a lot more annoying for me. <laughs> like actually, this game's just a lot more annoying for me. In the game 2 scenarios. I can go like Gastro, which is like the most obvious switch up ever, but... <laughs> I think I might do it. Let's go Groudon Ensign. With like Gastro back. And then have ho -Oh. But yeah, that was a hard choke. Because if he helped me on Water Spout single targeted me from the range I was at, I think I live. And then I could quick recover for like one more turn. But also like if I quick recover for one more turn, I think he just spouts me outside of Sun and I'm screwed anyways. So. <laughs> helping and Kali and I wanted to cry. Yeah. It makes sense, because why else would you run Regieleki on this team? It's dog. It is actual dog shit. Otherwise. I still think it's pretty dog shit, but you know. It's a little bit less when you can at least like max it and use it as a different mode. Kyogre lead. Instant lead. Uh, this might be bad. 
<laughs> this could be bad. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad, actually. Thought about it for a sec. This is not very awesome. Not very awesome at, at all, in fact. <laughs> He won't have a Gastrodon answer. <laughs> they wouldn't dare bring a Rollaboom into a Game 2 scenario. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> they, they probably would. I mean, uh, they're probably going to quick parting shot into my Groudon and they're going to go into uh, Rollaboom right now and I'm going to cry. But you know, this is what needs to be done by me. It's what needs to be done. Oh yeah, they're going to Rollaboom. Yep, okay. <laughs> I was right though, give me some credit. Reading that really didn't do anything for me, but you know. <laughs> I should have just gone for a max flare and this had my balls out right there. Like a max flare would have been so cool. But that's why I had pressure on this the next turn, but instead I had to go for like early Dynamax because I fe feared the water spout. Overall, this was like a horrible lead for me, though. I kind of, I kind of just messed this up a bit. Kind of, I'm kind of just playing awful right now. This is a little bit. It's a little awful. But yeah, there's a uh, quake. To the Rillaboom. All right. So here's the plan. <laughs> so here's the plan, guys. Here's the plan. This guy sees I has a Gastrodon, right? They see I have a Gastrodon. They're not gonna click a button into it because they see my Groudon and that's spooky. Groudon is very spooky, right guys? Groudon is so spooky. So instead, they're gonna stay in with their Rillaboom, have it glide the Groudon, and I'm gonna click a funny button into them and Ice Beam and it's gonna be amazing. It's totally gonna work. It's totally working. 100% guaranteed. They wouldn't quick glide onto my Gastro this turn. They would never. <laughs> They're clicking glide onto my Gastro. Oh no. Oh, dude. oh no. We're good. We're so good. This is fine. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay, guys. We're okay. They haven't quick glide yet. We're fine. Oh no, no. Okay, they quick glide. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this is not very great, huh? How unfortunate. <laughs> what a misstep, honestly. What a misstep. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. <laughs> I'm playing so bad. <laughs> But look, boys. Groudon. <laughs> Alright. New plan. <laughs> new plan, new plan. We have a Groudon and a Ho-Oh. We're quicking Quake and we're just gonna be fine. Kyogre destroys me in the back, by the way, but that's not important. Like, Kyogre absolutely destroys me. Like, not important, honestly. Who cares? Is this just a U-turn? I, I would care about a U-turn a little bit. Like, honestly, I'm I might care about a U-turn a little bit. That would be pretty bad. Or is this a wood hammer or something? Also bad. But yeah, it's just a U-turn. Okay, yeah, I lose. <laughs> I can acknowledge when I just lose the game, and this is definitely one of those scenarios. <laughs> I am like, I'm playing so dog right now, it's kind of funny. But it's alright, alright. The Kyogre's in. I just have a Groudon, a ho and an Incineroar in the back right now. I think we're fine. I personally, I think we're fine actually. 
I, I don't see an issue. <laughs> So Groudon and a ho and right here, they're not going to quick Dynamax into me. They're going to keep their ho Kyogre undynamaxed. I'm going to get a Quake and a Brave Bird crit. We're going to this crit all of our moves right now. It's going to be amazing. Let's watch. Let's watch, guys. <laughs> they, they wouldn't this quick geyser here. They wouldn't dare. What, what an atrocity that would be. <laughs> what an atrocity, guys. What an atrocity. They would never... How dare they, right? There's just no way they would do such a thing. They were, they're they gonna leave their Kyogre undynamaxed. Uh, uh, they're switching, that's fine. They're gonna leave their Kyogre undynamaxed. Okay, yeah, no, we lose. <laughs> God, that was one of the worst sets I've played in my life. Jesus. Like, what was my plan? Like, actually, what was my plan there? Okay, we're gonna double crit the Kyogre this turn, so it's fine. See, so yeah, a nice critical hit, nice critical hit. Oh, you see, we're critting the Kyogre right here. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go. <laughs> nice crit, guys, nice crit. <laughs> oh my god, what, what was I doing? <laughs> I don't, I, this isn't even a bad matchup. On this point, horrible. It is kind of funny. Oh my god. I'll, I'll confirm. <laughs> oh. What was the plan? I have no clue myself, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, I lost to this. We do a little trolling, in fact, yes. It's a little bit, it's a little bit. You know, I actually, I trolled this whole time because I wanted to watch other people play Pokemon instead of me. Yes, of course. That was the real reason. That was the real reason. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I made that like as easy for him as possible. Like, honestly, you should just say thank you after that one. <laughs> That's one where you just tell your opponent thank you and I'm just gonna handshake and go, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh my god, did I make that easy? Actually, let's just keep watching Nino, why not? <laughs> let's keep watching Nino. <laughs> Insane. We're back here again. <laughs> this is the whole stream for day. We just watched Nino for like 10 rounds. With like random intervals for me actually playing a Pokemon set really poorly. We need clown music, so true. Oh my god. This is what, uh... We're gonna go 1-5. Yes, yes. <laughs> this simply, this simply.
<laughs> All right. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, if I lose next round, I'm just gonna play Unite for like a few hours. <laughs> I did this last minute because I was like, oh, why not? I didn't actually feel like sleeping. And it clearly might have backfired a little, but you know. Occasionally, you have to play the VGC game if you're just only watching other people play it for like all your life, right? Occasionally, you have to play it. I do have a uh, Milwaukee and then NAIC on the over the next couple like three weeks, so I should play a little. But you know, <laughs> I kind of like set up a note for myself that I'm not gonna play like too hardcore until we get to after Japan Nats. That I'm gonna have to like hardcore grind for a little bit, and by that I mean I'm gonna play exactly ten showdown sets. And then I'm not going to play anything more, so you know. <laughs> Preparation, right? Preparation. But I do hope we have a decent run in this tournament. Only because I think it would be funny, and number two, because I kind of want to like... Uh, I think it would be pretty hype if we just have like a long stream leading up to Japan Nats, and we talk about that a little bit. Then finally the stream that for hours, even though that's going to be like pretty exhausting. Especially because it's only 147 and that <laughs> Japan Nats doesn't start till like midnight my time, which is pretty crazy. Da, 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 da. We'll see what we'll do. We'll see, we'll see. I think like hmm. Regardless though, I'll probably keep streaming till like four and then I'm gonna take a nap for a little bit. And then I'll stream again when uh, we get a few rounds into Japan Nats. Because I think, like, optimally, I should be streaming at a time when either the tour is done or, like, a few rounds into the tour so we don't get as much, like, dead time, you know? Like, I think dead time is just the worst in the world. Though, also, like, because there's three tournaments this weekend. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do that effectively because, because I also have the Unite game I want to play at like 4 for ZGUL, so it's, it's very awkward. It's very awkward. I'm just glad it's like decently later in the day, so I have like some time to prepare. Overall, we'll see, we'll see. Which I will say, the Seishin Ogre Shed Thun stuff always has like a decent matchup into other Kyogre's teams. Cause like, typically, it's hard to punish a Thun going in, or hard to punish a Shed perfectly well. So this becomes like, very hard to play against for other Zacian Ogre teams. Which I think is like, a bit of a flaw. Considering how like, Thund is so prevalent these days. I think uh, Nino has to like, endure 50-50 right now. Actually. 
And you know the funny thing about this? Is Nino's not the one in like the 50% scenario the opponent is. Because the opponent has to guess two things, right? Does the Shininja go for ally switch this turn? And two... Will I... <laughs> will it not? Oh! Oh! That's huge. So as long as there's no confusion... I didn't think Shadow Sneak Fire Ruff would actually kill, honestly. But I guess the Zacian was still plus one, so easily got it. That's why uh, having a uh, player off is so good on Zacian to deal with Zapdos in this matchup. You saw this is completely obliterated that Zapdos. Now, as long as Nino doesn't hit himself in confusion here, this is this game. Actually, it's not this game, because he's letting timer go down a bit, right? If the longer timer goes down here, and the longer you're taking your turns, then there's still like an extra scenario, or confusion. Ah. Uh, okay, if there's one more turn for confusion, and then if player off kills, it hits. It kills, uh, doesn't kill. One more turn for confusion, then. And the hit, origin pulse. One more turn, one more turn. If confusion hits, this game's like... Does the Shininja get confused or does it not? <laughs> Kai, we're pleased to- No, 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 Shed, do me a favor and die. It's my opinion. I think Nino should switch out- Quick Alley switch this turn to be wholesome. No! <laughs> no! Though honestly, maybe I should invite Shininja players because there's a 90% chance that I'm running like something that absolutely demolishes it. Because <laughs> I am not a Shininja supporter. But yeah, that's why Shininja is so toxic, this format. It's so toxic, dude. It's insane. Keep something around us for that, yeah. And with like Zacian Ogre teams, that's so hard to do effectively. I feel like the Rillabooms on Zacian Ogre might might start running like knockoff more. Which is funny because I was the one saying that uh Rillabooms stupid and lame on that slot, but you know. I still think it is, but if you do run it, I think having like knockoff on it or something would make it a bit more effective. Because it's clearly like right now the team only has like Zapdos to hit it, which isn't that. Isn't that much. And that's why this team was able to like dominate the European circuit. This completely. Like, I think in any uh, hard Zacian Ogre meta, Zacian Ogre Shed will always have the advantage. It's like really, really hard advantage. Especially if we keep getting like Zacian Ogre, uh, Zapdos, Grim teams with instant Rella. I think those just always have an inherent disadvantage versus Shed. Because the mods you want to bring into a uh, Zacian Ogre mirror, it tends to be Zacian Ogre, uh, Zapdos, Grim. Or Zacian Ogre, Zapdos, Rilla, I suppose, but... Most of your team doesn't deal with Shininja that way. And then this makes the game like way scarier like that. Which is, I personally think is also like pretty toxic. Cause not this is a way scarier for you cause you have to predict like endure, you have to get around like ally switch. <laughs> Your opponent doesn't have to quick any of those and can just quick like shadow sneak and quick like poltergeist for damage and this like make your day so annoying. And endure of course having the 50-50 property at like protect on turn two. Is also a little problematic to deal with. So you can go for Endure, and if you feel like, uh, if you read the ally switch, you can go for a double Endure, and then give you, like, the percentage odds to win anyways. <laughs> and, like, scenarios like that.
Probably one of the most toxic mons in existence, especially in a format like this. I think uh, GS Cup formats are always the formats that really show off some of the more toxic move choices, right? Because Smeargle, as an example, Smeargle was not a problem until we got into like 2016. But it was legal like almost every other format. Why that is, is a simply restricted Pokemon. Really just need like one decent support mon that's a little toxic and it can completely get out of hand. And I think it's the same way with like Ally Switch and Shininja. Hydrate, yes, hydration. Oh no, Smeargle wasn't slept on. It was like usable in like 2014 in uh, a few other formats, but it was never like good because you just kind of die. And you don't get as much like hard value off of a sleep turn considering how much more passive the game was or more aggressive in certain instances. Like normally Smeargle in a Kang format, eh. But Smeargle if it's next to like a powerful partner makes things like considerably harder. And it did have its moments in those other formats, but there were people who had this ultimately used it a lot, but this could never get there. Ever. <laughs> Though there was a Charizard Lele Smeargle team that was like hyper offense in 2018, which was okay. I wasn't a fan of it personally, but it had like decent things for it. Power Punch King would be scary with that though, yeah. But the thing is, King opposing King was everywhere. Which made it, like, really hard. You also had, like, Talon with Brave Bird, too. I could just prio kill it. And, like, almost every bit of the format was faster in 2014. I think the best, like, chance Smeargle would have had is in, like, post-Worlds 14. When the metagame, like, slowed down a bit and we're slowing off of the uh, Mega Kangaskhan. But early 2014, no. <laughs> this simply no. It was still usable though. That's because like Dark Void was a really good move. But in general, Smeargle just needs like aggressive mons to be partnered with. So the more aggressive the meta is, the better it is for like Smeargle and mons like it. Like, this is a reference. If we went back to, like, BDSP at VGC and we played, like, that restricted format in 2010, or something like it, then Smeargle would be everywhere. If we played that format again in this VGC 2010. Oh, I, I, I have plenty of bad memories of Smeargle. <laughs> Twenty sixteen was the first format that I actively hated. <laughs> At least in competitive play, I enjoyed the hell out of it when I was just like laddering alone. But I could never uh get around the format in my head, so I would always like troll at events with like dumb stuff. Cause I didn't want to play in the Smeargle metagame. Cause it was just not enjoyable for me. Da, 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 da. TOA for Swagger Thundee was toxic as fuck too. Yeah, but all Black White was actually toxic if you think about it. <laughs> like Gen 5 was the most toxic generation of Pokemon. But the old heads won't tell you that. <laughs> oh, it's such an awful generation, dude. I think a uh, genie stuff was fine in 2015. It was very good still, but it was like, eh, who cares? It didn't feel like, oh god, I want to die. This is such torture playing against these genies. Oh shit. And it, it felt that way in uh, Black White. Though I think a lot of the thing about Black White having nostalgia is that Black White, a lot of people didn't know what the hell they were doing, me included. So like... You could get some very weird stuff that happened in Black White just because the game was so young. But I think in like retrospect formatting, 
And you see this when like black white double OU or when you get like throwback tours to black white. They all suck. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. They're all really really bad. I absolutely despise playing the tournament in it like any kind of throwbacks or anything for black white. Which I think you can say a lot about a lot of uh, BGC metagames. It's like the retrospect is actually not that good for most of them. I think the best one in like retrospect is probably like 2017 or something. Maybe 2018, but I'm not a 2018 guy. But other than that, a lot of them had like such toxic formats. Even 17 was pretty toxic too, now that I'm thinking about it. Because 2017 has had what we call the Demon Timer. Which basically allowed Chansey to be like, incredibly viable. And it was, it was not funny. <laughs> it was not funny at all. Honestly, I don't know if I should verify that with a response, Floppy. I don't, I don't know if I should verify that with a response. Because you're also lucky you didn't have to play me on God on God. <laughs> Bop. Bop. To be honest, being 2 I wouldn't care. But you start 0-1? Hmm, a little different, a little different. It's <laughs> all I'm saying, all I'm saying. You're ready for the heat hours ring? I mean, I don't need to be ready. Why would I have to be ready? What the heck? That's wild, dude. What? What am I ready for? Are we going out somewhere? This, you know, you know, I mean, it's all I'm saying. Are we going out to dinner? Yo, hype. <laughs> That I want to be ready for, that I want to be ready for. Not a hard feelings I had school. <laughs> but yeah, 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 fair enough. I do think that's a funny thing to say after no showing though. Like, ah, shit, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to say. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Do I, do I talk shit back? Do I, um, like, oh yeah, sure, sure. Or do I do like all three at once? Like I did. <laughs> That's like always the thing with that, but... Okay, there's like one or two more games left. Yo, Mark Sparrow 170, yo. <laughs> like, what a legend, Mark Sparrow? Insane. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> also, I need a pop. Perfect. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba. Also, I still don't know yet when I'll get like Mario Strikers or if I will or not. Hope we both cut and we facing cut. I don't know. If I cut, I might actually go to sleep. <laughs> I might actually go to sleep. I am kind of tired. Oh, I may play it out because I have an ego. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? One of, the, one of the two. One of the two. For sure, one of the two. But also, I could really see myself going like 2 2 or something, and I just drop out and play Unite or something, and then go to sleep. I think like my plan is to like go until 4. And if I'm like still in the tournament, then I might play a little longer, but. Ultimately, that's the plan. Ultimately, ultimately. All right.
Oh, there's a pairing thing for Japan Nuts. Yo. The Nuts table is not open to the public. Okay, I'm gonna keep this though. For when we get that in a few hours. But yeah, Victory wrote a tweet about some info for Japan Nuts. I'll link it like here. It'll be in the Discord as well. In a second. Um. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we'll just be there. I'm only linking that as well, just because that's the pairings for me. This would be win round two, because I'm sure I going to be Kyogre. <laughs> I have a Hollow and a Groudon. It's a mystery to me, too. <laughs> it is a mystery to me, too. Point? No, I'm not playing VR tomorrow. No shot. It's like way too late in the day, dude. It's way too late in the day. Like, it's not like 2.30, dude. That's insane. Like Eastern time 2.30 too. It's not like European time 2.30. That would actually be somewhat okay. Which I really don't understand the logic in that. I think like arguably... Having it later in the day is bad for both groups. Maybe it's like Austra no, if it was Australia focused, then it would be like 2.30 a.m. their time, so that also sucks. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Yeah, the point in the victory road tour is that a horrible time. There's like no shot I could play at all. I don't really want to either. Like, I think if I were to do that, I want to have time to do like Japan, Korea, and then there's a tournament in Hong Kong. I want to have time to watch any of those. And then I have a Unite game at like 4.30. So it's like, this is a bad, bad cycle. Uh, there's just no way that it would work out in my favor. So we're not doing it. <laughs> quite simply, quite simply. There's only nine minutes left in the round. Late, but I need to start making a name for myself. Fair enough, fair enough. But, honestly, we don't think, uh, hmm. Well, it depends. He's car crowd on meadow. I, <laughs> oh. oh, I will also add there's a funny thing you could do with scar crowd on. Groudon, Dialga, Grimmsnarl, yo. Telepathy, Dialga. Huge. Talk about synergy right there. And then you can have it bulldoze, or you can have it rock doom for your Groudon to outspeed like... So your Dialga goes zooming. It's so much cooler than Groudon Sold on God on God. <laughs> Then of the other mons, you could run like Grim, Gothitoe, or something. That'd be pretty funny. There's always one problem I have with Dialga, though. Is the fact that you need Life Orb to do damage with it. If you don't have Life Orb, you cry a little, or you're like mons, or. And, like the average partner I want with Dialga half of the time, I also want that partner to have Life Orb. So it's kind of funny. Like, most of my Dialga teams end up having, like, a Regieleki, but then I want the Regieleki to be offensive. Or in what I'm running, so I'm getting out my tag. Owned. Simply too easy. Simply too easy. Alright, um... How's time? I'll admit that's cooler than, uh, Growlin Solg. We are not Groudon Solgaleo supporters. 
Dialga though? Pog. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Got lifted on the US. Oh, okay. Oh, this is pretty important for like Milwaukee and uh, NAIC. Apparently, they're ending the U.S. Uh, international travelers need to like show negative tests before entering the country. So European players can just like not show tests and just make it in the country now. Which I don't think really makes much of a difference. Like, who cares as long as you're vaccinated at this point? And it's like being like self-aware a little bit. Because obviously they're not going to let someone who's like visibly sick on an airplane anyways. But it's still pretty important for like NAIC. It'll be funny if <laughs> I say that and then I get COVID like right after the event. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> but that's why I get equally as likely happening from this in American. So I don't, I don't think that really makes a difference at all. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. But yeah, that braid this uh probably was even more functioning, honestly. <laughs> Oh my god, they're actually going to round timer. <laughs> what the heck, dude? They're actually going to round timer. <laughs> oh man, dude. This is tragic though. Timer. Timer round. Or stay in my life. No, I don't want to play with timer. Not the timer, bro. I think uh, the round one went to. was pretty close to round timer, too. This is not boating, boating pretty well. It's not boating well at all. Every game going to round timer is like the worst scenario, dude. Especially for someone not playing for cut and just playing for games. With a hello team, because funny. Was I think the problem with the hello team I'm using right now? Hmm. I'm not sure. I feel like I should have a more aggressive hoe or something. But the only matchup I played is Kali I Kyogre. <laughs> Which I think should be winning and I probably should just want like Reggie Lucky mode every game. It would have been a lot better. Yeah, I think if I just want Reggie Lucky mode every game it would have been better. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 
I am surprised by how much like Kyogre did to my hoe though. That was kind of noticeable. Well, frankly, I don't even know what like a damage calc should look like onto a hoe. Well, Aaron used it with Cringe Solgaleo, so it's different. My man Ploppy is not using it with Cringe Solgaleo. Oh, round. Not quite timer. Oh, we're playing another player. 313. All right, all right, let's go, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I think if another person beats a ra rainbow bird, they have to be homophobic. <laughs> Wait, honestly though, honestly, if they're being the rainbow bird, <laughs> Like that, that's crazy, dude. Like during Pride Month, you can't do that. No one knows what ho ho damage cows look like. I don't either, so. <laughs> I'll just say though, the Kyogre did like so much fucking damage to me in the sun. Like, what the heck? That was a little insulting, honestly. It almost felt like they were Specs Kyogre or something with how much damage they did. Then again, Water Spout's also this really strong, so you know, uh, who knows. <laughs> yeah, th these people have to stop being up on the hoe now. This is not okay, guys. It's Pride Month. Can't be doing this. Has to be illegal, dude. It's gotta be a break, girl. <laughs> oh my god. That what the hell, dude? What the hell? Oh my god, Snowy, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. You can't be doing that. On June 10th, you're doing that? What the heck? What the heck? This is this is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky Fried Crams, not Kentucky Fried Ho. That's so true. I, I don't think Ho did anything to deserve this. That has to be a hate crime. There's just no way. There's no way it's anything else. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Okay, Max Rockfall is definitely a hate crime. <laughs> oh, oh god, okay. Um... Is this Power Gem Dialga or is it not Power Gem Dialga? That is the one question. Because if it's not Power Gem Kyogre, I mean Dialga, but ho is nasty into this. Like, actually nasty. But if it is Power Gem uh, Dialga, I honestly don't know. I don't have a response to that. I'll just say that's very rude and I don't appreciate it. Yeah, we'll go Groudon, Ho-Oh. I just want to see if they're Power Gem. That's why I'm doing this. Maybe if they're a Power Gem, that's like the one scary scenario. I could go like Gastro back. This is because Gastro is a Power Gem resist. That's really the only reason. <laughs> Then I think I go Incin, honestly. It's Incin or Venu. Uh. Oh, Venu, actually. 
Actually, what if we just lead uh, Growl and Venu straight up? We go Ho-Oh and uh, Gastro back. This seems fine. It's Mon, so I had to try it out, yeah. The Cybertron video. Wait, it's very funny. That that's the one game of versus Cybertron he actually put on his channel. The very de next video he just uses the same team. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh yeah. This is fine for me, honestly. This is like very fine for me. Well, I think I started it. <laughs> I started it on God. For sure, for sure. No doubt. That was tr truly because of me. <laughs> Alright, Rotom Heat. Yep. Safety goggles. Safety goggles. I said. A oh, U turn. Okay, sure. I don't know about that U turn though. It did crit me, so it worked out for him, but... <laughs> like, the play he has to make after going for that U-turn is essentially... Go out to something that gets hit by my blades. As we are seeing right now. <laughs> that can't be a positive play for him. There's no way. Like, if that was Wicked Blow, that play would have made a lot more sense. Okay, my Groudon is absurdly weak. What the hell? I need a different Groudon. Wait, what set is this? Let me check. That's the wrong Groudon. It's a different Groudon from the one I have in my... Box. Um, this is problematic now. Okay. I'm gonna go Rock 2 and I'm gonna switch to... I'm gonna switch to Ho-Oh. ho is just the best way to just, just soak up damage here, I think. Yeah, let's go for the Behemoth Blade. Ah! Ah, they're greedy as hell. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna do a lot. Overheat. Okay, that's fine. Into Ho. Ho takes nothing. Oh my god. We get the Rock Tomb off. I'm just gonna go for a Blades and a Sacred Fire here. Attack again. Okay. <laughs> they do not care. They do not care at all. God, I really wonder if they're Power Gem now. This feels like they're Power Gem. Ah, damn, dude. They're actually Power Gem. That's so annoying. <laughs> Oh, they're Volt Switch. Okay. Sure. I can go back into my, um, Venusaur here. I can go back to Venu. Alright, they go into Rotom Heat. So this tells me a couple things. For one, they're probably Ally Switch. <laughs> I don't think you make this play if you're not Ally Switch, to be honest. I could be wrong though, but I highly doubt I'm wrong. If I am, that's kind of embarrassing. But like, why would you make this play if you're not always switch, dude? This doesn't make sense. We'll see. And also, we'll see if they reveal, um, Rockfall or not.
Yes. Roar, Dialga, roar. Yep, easy. <laughs> Actually easy, dude. No! Oh my god. Well, that's sad. <laughs> that's pretty sad, actually. Like, I actually this, uh... Read the hell out of them, but it doesn't matter. Cause they, they, they were so obvious we ally switched there, and I get punished. I get punished for reading it because Beanie was blind. Oh my god. The worst thing, I think I have to go for a max guard here, just so they don't go for a dragon move into my Gastrodon to kill it. Uh, but then- Oh my god! This is so awful! This is so awful now. Wait, what's my win condition? Because I need Hollow to be like faster than Urshifu in the back. Uh, but I can't... I'm just going to get freaking... Uh, I'm just going to get Max Dragoned. Like, Astrodon's just getting Max Dragoned here, 100%. If they go for another ally switch, I'm just like bone boned. You know what, screw it. I'm just going to go for the double up. and hope it works somehow. God damn it, dude. <sighs> and like the sad thing is the game is still like a little hard even if I read the ally switch but I actually have like because they get this ally switch on the next turns but now it's just like unbearably awful for me yep okay I did read the Max Dragon, but it doesn't matter. I probably could have guarded that turn, I guess, but... I just feel like I really need to get damage off. I don't get the burn either, which is bad. Okay. Get the crit, though. Alright, so here's the thing. If Ho gets targeted by a helping hand dragon here, I lose. <laughs> and I don't if I don't protect. But if my Gastrodon gets targeted by a helping hand dragon, I also lose. If I don't get the Sacred Fire into Dialga. So it's not a good scenario. Either way. <laughs> it's not a good scenario. I guess I could go for a recover here in a max guard. Because it covers the most options. If they go for a max uh, dragon to my hoe here, we should be able to live at plus one spada. If they don't, then we're fine either way. Yeah, they go for a volt switch and a hoe. That's okay by me. Alright. Still winnable. Still freaking winnable, dude. Alright. A bit unfortunate that I went for recover. But all right, so Dialga's Dynamax is over. Dialga is basically in a fake mon at this point. So now I have to wonder another thing: is does the Urshifu go for like a Wicked Blow to my Holo -Oh and go for the double up? Actually, I think either way, I should be going for a Brave Bird here, and then a Quake. Into the Urshifu slot. I think that's just the best option. Okay, they go for a U-turn, that's fine. They're gonna do, like, very little damage. I wonder what the Dialga is targeting though. Oh, it's in the Gastro. Oh, it kills. Okay. That's a bit annoying, for sure. <laughs> that is for sure a bit annoying. Do we have the Brave Bird? Do like negative damage. It's 
So here, I think I try to read the Volt Switch. And let's go for another Brave Bird. Oh, they go for an Ally Switch. That's smart. Very annoying, but smart. Because that means I'm forced to kill the Dialga here. But I actually don't want the Dialga to die. And now I can't, like, read a Volt Switch to get the kill of Brave Bird anymore. That's another thing. Uh, dude. If I just got the Sleep Powder, this game would have been so much easier. I would have had Gastro around with this Quick Quake or like Hailstorm or something. This could be another ally switch, but I'm just not going to respect it. Yeah, this is a helping hand Wicked Blow for the KO, I think. It probably will KO, actually. Oh, Rock Tomb. Okay. <laughs> that KOs too. Well, they do have a Rock move. It's just on the Urshifu. So that's on the fucking Urshifu, dude. I should have figured that though. Because they don't have a way to hit Charizard outside of the Scarf Urshifu with Rock Tomb and going for like a Max Dragon. So that does make sense. This Scarf is Scarf event. Uh, it's probably Scarf. At least it really should be Scarf. Because that's literally their only Charizard answer. And that's another unfortunate thing from the Sleep Powder Mist, is I wasn't able to max my Ho in that position. I knew I wanted the Airstream boost in order to deal with Urshifu in the back, but I just wasn't able to do it. This just sucked. <laughs> like, that was so bad. And also, my Groudon being, like, negative offense was horrible, too. Like, I think I posted the pace in, like, the Discord already, but the Groudon is supposed to be 236 attack. I'm pretty sure it's, like, 30 attack, which is not good. That is not good. So now I'm in like a kind of awkward scenario. I'll try like, uh... The other crazy thing is I don't think Alecky's like bad back one here. I'll try it. It's a little greedy though, but... Is this to help me deal with Urshifu? That's Scarf. Cause I'll need two airstreams in order to be faster than Scarf or Shifu. Okay, Rotom and Dialga is the lead. So he's going for ally switch plays just off the bat. Fun guy, right? <laughs> fun guy, fun guy. I'm just going to quick Blades and uh, Sleep Powder, though. I'm not going to predict the ally switch. But yeah, this guy's whole team is just getting lucky with white predictions, which is all Dialga teams, really. They try to put you in like a 50-50 scenario, and then they try to capitalize. Well, he's gonna quick it like every time, dude. That's not his whole team. That's how Dialga teams work. It's the same when they have like Dialga Grim. Oh, he didn't quick it this time. Cool. And we actually hit our sleep powder too. <laughs> That's pretty noticeable as well. Yeah, there's a volt switch. That's fine. Yeah, since our Groudon is like weak as hell, <laughs> we're not actually going to get much reward off of uh, this Blade's turn. Did you go to Urshifu though? Which is like, okay, sure. Yeah, our Blade's so weak, dude. Oh, <laughs> so weak. Either way, we're still just going to go for the Blade's again and go for, uh, I think a Weather Bolt. It. Could go for a Rock too. Uh, I'll just go for Blade's and, uh, I'll go for Leaf Storm, actually. Why not? It's more chip. He 
gives me the Leaf Storm. Lurch, okay. So we're probably winning this game. <laughs> we are probably winning this game. Yep. Now we just need to hit our blades here. And we do. It won't kill because our Groudon is weak as hell, but... The Dialga is now in like Life Orb KO range. And also... <laughs> he just doesn't have many tools left at this point. There's not many tools left at all. Like he's going for this play and all, but... Really doesn't amount to much. Because I just can go for a Rock Tomb here, and I can just go for a Weather Ball into the Dialga slot. It's not Scarf. It's Volt Switch, Overheat, Helping Hand, Ally Switch. It's a speed investment. But yeah, this is what I mean. Dialga, Grim stuff is always like a 50-50 team. It is always a 50-50 team. And he's going to go for like the same kind of 50-50s game, game 3 as well. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the right set for this team. It is the right set, it is the right set. Hate the team, not the player, on god. This is unfortunately how the team plays. It always revolves around this. Inherently. Um, okay. I actually think going for like Growl and Venu. Hate the team. What the what the heck? No no, let's hate the team. Let's hate the team. <laughs> oh lord. I bet he's gonna go for the Rotom Heat stuff again. I just have that feeling. in my bones. In my bones. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, he didn't. So, Grim Dialga, the difference here to, like, his Rotom Heat shenanigans is essentially that he can fake out. That's really it. That's the difference. <laughs> that is, in fact, all of the difference. Which is a pretty big difference, actually, but... Yeah, that's what they do. They Weed Grim Dialga. Impress the funny moves. You know, every time, I just think how wholesome it is. And this time, they're gonna just quick the funny move on me. And I have to decide whether I want to stop it or not. But I don't know if I do. I might just go for Helping Hand E-Webs. And chill. What is this, Venusaur? It's the Ban Fox set. <laughs> it is literally Ban Fox's set. I don't deserve blame for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm running like Ban Fox's Groudon too, which is just like really weak offensively. So I'm running it as an AV1, which doesn't. I don't know how I had that happen. I just saw a Groudon on my box and I was like, oh. That was the one I had Ban Fox's like Sword Zan's EV spreads on, which which only has like 36 attack. <laughs> and it has backfired a few times. Fake out. Fake out. Big E webs damage. <laughs> Huge. Oh a crit too. <laughs> yeah. It's, it was just really bulky to make up for the AV. Which I think makes sense, but it backfires when my team is like, it kind of needs an offensive presence. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. We have played the game a little bit. I wonder what move they will click on me here. Because they scary face, I just, uh... still have the damage output here anyways. I 
I am going for a Volt Switch and a Blades, though. I think. Sucker Punch. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's fine. There's going to be a single target uh, Press of Blades. I might regret not Dynamaxing the Groudon, though. G give this to CJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay, I don't regret it. But yeah, you see, that's so weak. That is so weak, dude. It's insanely weak. Yo, nice. It has to go like Zacian or something though, in order to kill my Groudon. I have this Dynamax Ho for game, I think. Oh, Urshifu, that works. It's probably this a Rock Tomb or something. But he has no like helping hand here, and I'm just gonna be able to Airstream. So it doesn't matter. Because this is an Airstream Blades. Like, the thing is, if you don't target my, um, Groudon with, like, Wicked Blow or something, I just get an Airstream up, your Dynamax ends, and I get, like, the Blades, too. So you have to target my Groudon, and if you target Holo, that's fine, because I get the Blades. Yeah, we see the Wicked Blow, it's in, in the Groudon, right? Yep. And this is going to be an Airstream, then. How do you say Zacian? No, you say Zacian. Or Zay Scion. Zay Scion. I do like Zay Scion. Pretty quirky. That Urshifu lived on 1 HP. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, that wasn't even a focus ass rock. So he has Wicked Blow, Rock Tomb. I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> I am a little nervous. Yeah, I am so nervous now, dude. Oh my god, is he... Oh, it has to be Scarf. I refuse to believe it's anything else. Okay, cool. Scarfed. We're good, we're good. That was scary for a second, though. I'm gonna admit that. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Airstream. Yes. Now I can this uh, quick flare. My ho is minus two, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Cause this is this is a max flare thunderbolt turn. This is quite simply. Oh. Rotom. <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting this one to be here. Actually I was not expecting this one. I still win though, but <laughs> this is surprising. <laughs> it really is just surprising though. Like I am minus two holo, so like this is a little annoying, I guess. But I won't have a spadaf boost. Okay, they both switch. Cool. I got punished a little for greeting. I was trying to greet them that they were gonna target my lackey no matter what here. But since they didn't, it's a little annoying. But I'm just gonna go for recover now in Thunderbolt. I should I go to for uh Oh I have to recover. Yeah, maybe I should have Thunderbolted this turn before. 
Oh wait, I'm faster, I'm faster. I don't want to recover. In the Sacred Fire. And just use the last turn of Sun to try to get the KO. Wait, Thunderbolt's Life Orb is going to do a lot. Let's see. Yeah, this, this is a decent chunk. You do die, though. Hit. Alright. Decent chunk. This is a Volt Switch, though. Jeez. It has more damage than I would have expected. Now we quick recover a lot. <laughs> and don't get crit. This is the win con. Recover! <laughs> I probably should have recovered that turn instead of Sacred Firing, but... Protect! <laughs> Recover! <laughs> I should technically be dealing the slower, by the way, for timer, but... Eh. Protect! <laughs> the reason I'm protecting, by the way, is simply I want one of these turns, him to bait himself into thinking I'm going to protect and, like, worry about PP. Recover! Because crits, he has to wait like, double crit me in order to win the game off Volt Switch. Oh, yeah, it would be, for sure. Because then his crits would actually mean more. Because, like, if he crits me right now, I'm still fine. Protect! <laughs> I'm gonna do it every turn, bro. <laughs> I'm minus two, bro. <laughs> he would be able to do more in para. Yeah, that's true. The para is something, I guess. Whoa. Now I quick recover. <laughs> this is my game plan. Immaculate, isn't it? Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm minus two. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to, but because I'm minus two. Don't hate the game, hate the Rotom, so true. <laughs> I think this is a more appropriate range for me to actually go for an attack here. Yeah, I think this is a range I can attack at. I could run the timer if I wanted to, but... Good, cool. Brave Bird range. I think we don't die to a crit here is why I did it this turn. And yeah, I think I'm right. So I'm just going to quick Brave Bird now. No point in pointing the timer. The protects that we're doing was probably unnecessary, you may think. But if I didn't protect those turns, I was totally getting crit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I was totally getting crit, bro. Totally. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. 100% would have got crit there otherwise. 100%, 100%. Yeah, we confirmed it. Uh, no, we were confirmed at that point. And with 69 HP? Yes, sir. We, yes, sir. Because Yugi and Echo, when I'm at like full health and after that range, Volt Switch, even a critical hit, wanna have KO'd me. So basically, we became safe through those quick buttons. It was just if I wanted to waste my time or not at that point. Because he had to like crit on one of the earlier turns, basically. To have a chance there. Bop. And to be honest, that wouldn't have been a thing if I like <laughs> played the end game a little bit differently, but we did invite that scenario with how I played it. We did invite it a little bit. What if they double crit? 
Well, if they crit on the first one, then I can recover. <laughs> and then I still win. <laughs> That's the thing. They crit on the first one, I just recover again, and then I'm out of critical hit range. So it never happens. They would have to triple crit. <laughs> That's what would beat me. A triple crit. Because the critical hit from Volt Switch is like 78%. I can still recover through that for a few turns. This as long as I don't get triple crit. If he crits me three turns in a row, that's like 210%. I'm, I'm super dead. <laughs> I'm like extraordinarily dead at that point. So the odds are like, I think, ultimately in my favor. Though I'm not saying that based on the damage calc. I'm saying based on what I saw after weighing myself get Volt Switch for like 10 turns. Do you all know who runs the in-game name Yavi? Yavi? Uh... Javier? It might be one of the Javier people. But there's a lot of people who have the name Javier who play VGC. So I, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Even though I said that. Like Nemesis for one, like Valdez. Rank 5 Master, maybe Valdez. Mr. Nemesis. Good old Neme. There's, there's, a, there's a few, like there's Yavier Senorina, and there's like Yavier Valdez, and there's a few other that I'm blanking on. I think Kaizen's name is also Yavier, right? Is it? What's Kaizen's name again? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop thinking. <laughs> oh wait, Kaizen's in-game name is probably this Kaizen though. Now that I think about it. That would make more sense. Da -da -da. Alright, so what do we do now? <laughs> There's only four matches left because ho is slow. Hmm. The plan is there's no plan. We just have to chill. <laughs> we do this be chilling for a bit. My first game of Master Tier? Uh... Yeah, it's probably one of the more well-known hobbies, I guess. Hard to say. Oh yeah, Nemesis's name is probably like Neme in game, I think. So it's probably not Neme either. So I actually don't know. Yeah, you get like really high rated if you go like if you have a good record going into Master Ball, they put you at like an inflated rate rating, I say. Like when I was in Masters, just from like starting it, I was like top 200 or some shit. And it probably has decayed me down to like the thousands now, but... I'm not Masters right now though, because I haven't played this month, but you know. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? I wasn't running Inner Focus, I was 7. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. I'm gonna be honest though, there isn't like any VGC players that are that intimidating. Like there's some that I kinda understand that if you get intimidated by, like it. But in general, they're not intimidating. <laughs> not in the slightest. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick since we have like four more games.
you know, 3-0 because he's run into a lot of Kyogre players. Yo. <laughs> Which I'll tell you, that Fun Ogre Zacian Shed team is absurd into Kyogre stuff. Are like you play any Kyogre team in a mirror match? You're probably winning. Does where you enter depend on a record? Uh, no. Oh yeah, it does, it does. It does. <laughs> I forgot we were talking about Master Ball. For some reason, I thought we were talking about the tour, and that I was like confused. But for Master Ball, yes, it does matter. Like if you go undefeated in the Master Ball, then you're gonna be like top 200, top 100, or some show like that. So it and it, it has your Elo like a little inflated. I think is the best way to say it. On entering the Master Ball. Maybe I'm wrong then. I do know it inflates you regardless. It's not... Your elo doesn't really cap start until you hit Master Ball. So you're going to be like a lot higher upon entering. Hit two people rage quit? Yo. Wait, rage cat? Let's go. <laughs> Angry cat? Pog? I wish I had that power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um... No games we can watch, unfortunately, though. But... Still 60 more minutes of the round. Fun. Like, imagine going slower than the ho player. That's all I'm saying. That's crazy, dude. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> they fault for being predictable. <laughs> so true. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Rain team user, I want to make a sun team though. Oh, I got an idea for a very cool and hip sun team. First of all, Zacian. Second, Groudon. Grim. Ensign. <laughs> Gastrodon and Charizard. I think that's a pretty cool and hip th sun team, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, Umbreon? Of. Uh, I feel. There's people who still try to play Umbreon on like Lunala Groudon. Back core, but I don't think it's as good anymore. Well, I feel like Umbreon's kinda hit the wayside. I think 2019 it was a dope pick though. It won worlds, so you know. <laughs> but now it kind of feels like you could just run Grim, you could run like so many other dark types. But I don't I don't know how good it is anymore. But then again, it is a dark type with Yawn, so maybe there is some practicality. Yeah, there's definitely practicality. Hmm. Actually, idea. Sage, Groudon, Thunderish, Umbreon, um, Incineroar, Venusaur. <laughs> oh wait, Incineroar, Gastrodon, yes. 
There we go. Idea. <laughs> or maybe like Lunala, Growlon, Thun, Umbreon, Ensign, Gastro. Or like Ensign Vini or something. One of the two. Actually, no, I don't think you want Gastrodon if you're running Umbreon, do you? It's well too passive together and they both do the same role. Okay, that makes it harder. Actually, no, you just put Venusaur on that slot. <laughs> so literally all I just said, but instead of Gastrodon, there's Venu. So like Zaston, Ensign, Umbreon, Thun, Venu. Or like Lunala, Groudon, Ensign, Thun, Umbreon, Venusaur. One of the two. Uh, yeah, th that's one of those two, one of those two. But I'm still not sure if it, like, how worth it is, but... It does always make some sense, because, like, Kali Shadow is definitely problematic for either of those two teams. And Umbreon is a mon that kind of just walls Kali Shadow. So it does have, like, some bit of a niche case. And you also appreciate Yawn for your team, too. Because otherwise your Thunderous matchup is pretty annoying. Oh, and Helping Hand. Helping Hand is definitely a neat move. What you just said? Um... Yeah. And I also said I don't like it because I knew about Pyreon's team too. <laughs> I don't like Pyreon's team, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think Call Mine Kyogre is like really bad, to be honest. I think it's probably like the most overrated set that we've had in like a long time. And it's not even played, which should tell you how overrated I think it is. It was just played by like Soul Galio Kyogre players with like Grim stuff. And I think like that was what was holding that arts type Soul Ogre back a lot. Is the fact that they were trying to like run Call Mine Ogre and go for Steel Spikes. Yeah, it's overrated. <laughs> I think too many people think it's a valid win con, and I don't think it's actually a valid win con at all. And like, the format ultimately attested to it. Because Call Mine Kyogre, it, in like the first couple months or weeks of the format, was actually like pretty used. And same with the one restricted formats too. We saw like a decent amount of Call Mine Kyogre play. It was still the rarer set, but people actually played it. And each time, I think it has proved to be really bad. <laughs> and it's like, it's not worth it over like Life Orb, it's not worth it over AV. It's not worth it over Mystic Water either, so... It's not even valid uh, item suppression. Compression, I mean. Compression, not suppression. What the fuck? Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Specifically on Solgaleo Kyogre, though there were a few people who ran in on like Zacian Ogre. Zacian Ogre is it's not good at all. Solgaleo Ogre, I understand the logic for it a bit more, but I think it's like still incredibly flawed. I feel like still spiking up an Ogre with like for Lefty's recovery is both too slow. And then when you want to play aggressive, it doesn't kill fast enough anymore. So you just lose to like matchups. Like let's say Yveltal, if you play a Yveltal team with like Soul Call Mine Ogre, you have even less of a chance because of a uh, Call Mine. When you could be like Thunder or and like more aggressive, so you can actually hit them, even though it's still like a negative matchup. It was, you would at least have a way to pressure them, you know? And with Coal Mine Ogre, you don't really quite have that. Oh, it's not until you set Coal Mine like 10 times. <laughs> well, I'll say the best thing about Coal Mine Ogre is the games where opponents lead like... Or this have like Regieleki in the back, and then you've already got a Call Mine up, and then you can like Dynamax after. But most people who use like Regieleki, they're not having it in the back, so it doesn't really make sense to run like Call Mine Kyogre that way. Um, hmm. Call Mine with Mystic Water, I think, is kind of incorrect too. 
I will say it's better than like it's probably better than the lefty set because you're not at least realizing that it's not a win con that way. Though I still think it's unnecessary. It's at least a little bit funnier though. Because you're running a Swedo AV. So it's hard for me to think that's like not worth. I mean, it's hard for me to think that's worth when you can just be running like Water Spot or something. Or Thunder for that matter. Da 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 da. <laughs> I love because I had the game audio still on. You can just hear the vanilla light this uh, making moves. Da 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 da. All right, we have exactly. Three more matches. Let's go. I'm gonna open the little limitless bracket, because why not? So you see our three O's right now. Our three O's are three O's. The person we lost to, Francis, 2 1. Kinda cringe. <laughs> yeah, the old with the series seven team is one two. Our demon Max D's is two one as well though, and that is very spooky. Very spooky indeed. Pengi is one two. Kinda not surprised. And then Nino 3 0, Aldrich 3 0, Luca, Giesel, Tom Hayden 2 1. We still have Gym Master Jaden, and then we Gray versus Ray Reiki, and then S. Carly. Don't know who they are, but. And then there's me at the 2 1. Woo! Crazy. I think Killua was the person who lost to the Series 7 team round one. Let me check, let me check. I'm curious. Who played Yaliel round one? So the person who lost to the Series 7 team is uh, T01 right now. That's our takeaway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, any set can win you games, but can any set win you games consistently? No, you know? Like, you can have a a very subpar win rate with a Pokemon or even like a positive win rate with a Pokemon <laughs> for it to still be bad there's also that as a possibility though that said I'm also a niche Pokemon niche set user Because honestly, like, the thing about Pokemon, it doesn't take much to justify a move slot. Because if a um, Pokemon can, like, give you a matchup by playing this way in, like, specific game instances, sometimes that's enough, even if the set's, like, kind of suboptimal. So I'll give you that, I'll give you that. But to me, I just think Calm Mind in general on Kyogre is just consistently suboptimal. But... Be nice. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Could be worse. TM. Okay, our la last match is Remus VGC versus Jackson Cole. Remus. Ramus. Oh, Nino stopped streaming, huh? So is this me, Aldrich, and then Tom Hayden? Unfortunate. I have less people's content to abuse. What a letdown. Hmm. <laughs> 
Also, I may have to leave, like, Sunweed at, like, 4. Because my brother's gonna be home and I have to unlock the door for him. This is why I'm a little annoyed the round. It's taking so long. Team, there's a team. Wow. <laughs> Landers, Tornadus, Ursh, Regulaki. Yeah, I think you're better off this being a more offensive Kyogre. If you, I'm gonna be honest, I really think you're better off this being Water Spout and like Modest and doing more damage. Cause you have a lot of like aggro tools, right? So this seems a bit better. Also, even wonder like hot take here. I think you could change the items around. If you want like a bulky Kyogre, I think the Lander's Key could be uh, White Herb or something. And then you could have the Kyogre BAB. I think that would be a better way to take advantage of bulky Kyogre. And... But in general, I think like you probably want to be Modest Kyogre and you want Water Spout over Coal Mine. And I don't think Swords Dance is necessary on Zacian, and you probably want a bulk here. That's my second thought. We can probably Metagross because I realized I was using a Trick Room or Zacian, but that was in Series 11. Yeah, I think you probably want like Sub or you want Sacred on Zacian. Sub can allow you like saw out uh, Trick Room better. Another Pokemon worth considering is Good Old Incineroar. And Sonora can like parting shot for you and cover your ground a bit. But yeah, in general, my f one advice water spout on Kyogre and more offensive, like modest. And then the Zacian set, I think, should be adamant with like sub or with Sacred Sword in this bulkier Zacian. In general, I think most of it's like pretty fine though. It reminds me a lot of like Ink Team. That had like a Moongus over uh... I had like a Moongus Instant Ore over Regieleki Urshifu. So that's something you do as well, but... Overall, not bad. Especially since you said it was like a first team. <laughs> that is far from bad for a first team. It is far from bad for a first team. Normally, if you see someone's first team, it's the most jank stuff in the world. But in general, this looks like, okay. This looks like, I kind of have issues with some of the moon sets. Also, I'm not sure how much uh, Urshifu is worth if you're running Life Orb on it. Because Urshifu kind of dies to a lot of stuff, right? If you could like, free up the Focus Sash from your Torn and put on Urshifu, then maybe it's a little better. And if you can't, I think maybe like Incineroar would be a good call, as I said earlier. But overall, pretty okay, yeah. Pretty okay. Oh, we had a timeout. Let's go. So the round has timed out, so I think they're doing sudden death now, or they're like trying to figure stuff out. We'll see though.
All right, I'm gonna look for uh, Office Angels. I think you have like two pathways that are decent. Oh boy, this is a big dock. Let's see if I can find it. I feel like the team you're probably looking at is something like this right here. For the Zacian, Kyogre, Incident, Amoongus, Lander, Swern. Or... Let me go look for something. I think it was Lily, right? Or something like this. Those were the two things with like the Zacian, Kyogre, uh, Grim stuff. So I've realized like how small this is in a zombie pace. So we'll do the old fast and zoom in. <laughs> Yo, we zoomed. I think Ter Terran's team went right here. That's one pathway you can do and you can drop the Rollaboom for an Urshifu. Because Terran's original team of this had Urshifu over the Rollaboom. I think it was a bit better. And uh... Or the other pathway with like Torn. This is an example here, is, uh, Sidharf's team with, like, Zacian, Kyogre, Amoongus, Card, Lando, Torn. And you can drop the Kartana for, like, a Regieleki. I think that works for you, too. I think those are, like, the two more, uh, stylistic teams that are similar. I think there is, like, general with, um... In general, with like Kyogre teams, I think you always need a Mon that can use a Grass type move, right? If you don't have a Mon that can use a Grass type move, then you kind of get messed up a little bit. Especially into like Gastro matchups, or because most of the things that like deal with your uh, Kyogre happen to be Mons that do not like Grass type Pokemon, particularly. So I think that's something worth considering. Okay, they're still figuring out the final game situation. Yeah, I can give you the list. Is this a link? Has a lot of pace to it. Bop. There it is. I would try to pin that as well, because it literally has every event. <laughs> so it's kind of worth this to have up, you know? If you're looking for stuff. Because it will probably be there. Because honestly, I think like the easiest way to get good at VGC is having a lot of information.
What is happening with this round? It's just been timed out. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna check the Discord and see what's happening here, dude. check. I got distracted because I just got a bunch of ads. I have a donut brain so it took me a while to get distracted. Yeah I'm checking now I'm checking. Oh it's not starting for 15 minutes so we have time. <laughs> we have like five more minutes basically. We have five more minutes. Waiting, pause, let's go. <laughs> this is most problematic for me, most problematic. <laughs> I'm sure there's someone who has been uh, terrorized by this theme song. <laughs> and if you know, then you know.
Pokemon. New round. Yo. We can play Pokemon again. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's wild. I love Pokemon. <laughs> we get to play it. It's so wholesome, dude. Like, whoa, Pokemon. Wowie. All right, let's get it, dude. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how this matchup's gonna play out because they're gonna be like Rockfall and Zard, and they're probably gonna be like Rock Slide on Groudon too. So if I can like conserve Ho Hello for like the end game, that's pretty good. But if I can't, then it's a little awkward. I also have like the slower Ensign. Which could be awkward too. Depends. We'll see though, we'll see. I'm gonna try to like instant a lucky like game one and then like brought on uh ho back and then see how that goes. Actually that's a little too greedy. I feel like this sounds like way too greedy actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go Vinu Regulecki with uh Ho O instant back. No grot on. Still pretty greedy. But we'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the hollow win con, I guess. If it works, it works, you know? Like, oh uh god, if it working, it working. If it doesn't work, I'll cry. Like the good thing here is it means if they uh go like hard grout on, right? And they have to like dynamax it. Or they won't be able to cause much of a problem for me. If they don't Dynamax it, then well, uh, it's pretty good for me. Instead, we see uh, Grimstarlization as the lead. Which is fine, actually. Pretty fine. Though it does put a couple things that are a little worrying. If they're like, scary face, right? They can scary face me, and that's kind of spooky. <laughs> I think my Venusaur is going to be, for sure, faster than that. So I think, actually, here... I'm still gonna go for it and just ignore the possibility that I can get scary faced. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm just gonna ignore that I could get scary faced here. 
Let's go for a Protect and a Sleep Powder. Let's see what the Zacian does. Okay, if you go for a Trick on the Lucky, that's like okay, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, they uh, split targets. Interesting. I thought that was going to be a regular lucky double up after I saw that play. But I was wrong. But yeah, we get the sleep powder into the Zostian slot. That's pretty good for us. Because now here, I think I just go for a Volt Switch into Grim. I just go for a Leaf Storm. I'm like, I'm not too worried about losing my Focus Sash. I mean, losing my Life Orb at this position. I do wish I brought Groudon, though. <laughs> I can say that for sure. I do wish I brought Groudon here. But yeah, we see the Zacian switch out into Charizard. And we see the T-Wave, actually. Okay. So this is fine as long as I like get my target off. If I get the kill here, then this is very good for me. I just go hello too. I just need to get the kill with Leaf Storm. I may I actually may cut it close though. Now that I'm looking at the calc. Or maybe cutting it pretty close. Yeah, we get the Leaf Storm. We get the kill. Nice. Zacian's asleep for another turn too. This is probably gonna be a Groudon coming in here, but eh, I think that's fine. To be honest, I think that's pretty fine. But yeah, there's Groudon. All right, this is where things get interesting. I'll go into instant here and go for a sleep powder into the Groudon. The reason I'm going for Sleep Powder is just simply that they stay in with Groudon and they don't target my uh, Venusaur with the Zard, then we just get a free knockout. They don't get much like value out of the Wildfire either, so... Oh, we just see the Heat Wave. They're not Dynamaxing yet, which is pretty good by them. A little spooky for me too. Yeah, we see a stone edge. Okay. Alright. Um. I'm um, a. Uh, I'm gonna go for a parting shot here and go for an airstream onto the Groudon. Yeah, Charizard switching out to Zacian, that's fine. The reason I'm going for an airstream first here is I wanna be faster than the Groudon with my Ensign. And I know my Groudon, my Ensign's like decently slow, so I need the airstream and a parting shot set up in order to like confirm I can live a Rockfall even with my Dynamax. So I don't have many tools to deal with um, Groudon at this point, right? I need my Hello to get as much like value as it can. And this is just one way I can do that. Yeah, we're seeing the Dynamax from the Groudon, no surprise. I just need to get a Parting Shot off though. Like if I can't get like value off Parting Shot here, it's like pretty bad for me. It is pretty bad for me. But we'll try. I am pretty sure this lives and does. F if this like lives, we can like survive a long enough time. Then it's not too bad for me. But. It's definitely tough. It's definitely tough. Yeah, I get the airstream. Please, Parting Shot go first. Rockfall is like very spooky. 
Okay, they go for a Quake actually into my instant, and we don't get the parting shot first. Which is a little bad. That is a little bad. Um, okay. Alright. Yeah, we don't get the parting shot. Damn, 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 damn. I don't have Hyper Beam on a uh, Lucky. Or any way to hit the Groudon, or Screech for that matter. Screech would be very nice here, but unfortunately, it is not an option. I will go for a Thunderbolt Backscard here. That's because I think he needs to Rock Fall my Hello in order to have a chance. I think this game wake specifically scarier for me. Zacian, of course, can't wake up here. It doesn't take much damage either, though. But yeah, Zacian's still asleep. A Quake again. Ah, uh, damn. This guy's insane. This guy's pretty insane. But yeah, this is not good for me. He still has like Stone Edge too, and he gets the crit too. Like, oh no. I think I need like a crit here with my sacred. He's gonna go for a rock fall to reduce my damage. Man. Crab on Max is definitely very spooky for me. Also, very unfortunate that I'm slower than the Groudon, even after Airstream with my instant. That's what, like, really made this hard for me. So I am a slower instant because I have Burning Jealousy, but... I still thought I would have been faster than Groudon. But I think I either am, like, speed tying, or is, like, not close at all. <laughs> My opponent also gave me like a chance if I just quick like max fire every turn. But that's like hard to do in that position though. So I'm like I don't regret that I didn't quick it. But yeah, I just go to quick sacred fire. This game's pretty over. Yeah, Zacian wakes up, is this quick speed even played? Should the lock of the game here. Damn. Oh man. Why did my instant have to be so slow, dude? I thought for sure it would outspeed the Groudon at plus one. I thought for sure, I thought for sure. All right. We also saw a trick from the Grim Snarl, which is pretty bad too. <laughs> That's for sure pretty bad. I do want to check my instant speed though. I know I'm like min speed, but I'm IVs fast. Okay, 72. Ah, damn. That's way too slow actually. Yeah, it would have to be like min speed Groudon to <laughs> underspeed that. So I just made like a huge gap. I had to like switch into my Regieleki immediately and not let Insane go down. So I could get enough Intimidates to like survive a little bit longer and then get like a burn to recover. So it's still pretty hard. But without having to Intimidate, this became so much harder. He just conserved his Dynamax well enough. I'm gonna try to go like Binu Dawn straight up with like Hello Instant back. And try to play like that. I have Instant in the back still because I want to be able to like stop a trick for at least like one turn. And I think this is the best way to go about it. I think my game plan now should be this to like try to conserve around uh, Venusaur for this endgame. I think Venusaur is my best win con into like Groudon back. 
It's a little risky this leading it straight up, because if I get like key waved early, that's, that's very bad for me. But this also like forces, probably hit, kind of forces him a bit to like key wave me early. And like that's kind of positive. And like Charizard should be a little spooked by the Groudon as well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> baited. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's Grim and Charizard. So it is Life Orb. This could be a trick onto my Groudon, and then you could go for like a Life Orb or Wildfire. That would be a little spooky, for sure. I think I'm gonna go for a Helping Hand and a Rockfall here, which kind of ignores the rule I was setting for myself earlier, but I feel like Trick and a Wildfire is just so bad for me that I can't just disrespect it as an option. Especially because, like, I don't have much investment. I kind of need the extra push to be able to kill this Zard. Watch my Helping Hand Rock Team not kill, by the way. Because <laughs> it's like Rock Full damage. Oh, well, actually, it's Life Orb. Okay, they're, they are Dynamaxing the Charizard. I was right. But this is probably a trick or like a T Wave Wildfire. I assume a trick. Which is why I made this play like so aggressively with a Helping Hand. This is pretty good for me, because they don't have a way to like reset drops on their Groudon for the end game. So technically I think Holo can actually out muscle a Groudon. As long as I play like very careful and I get like a Sacred Fire Burned. But yeah, we get the helping hand here. This is probably gonna be a trick on the Venusaur, if I had to guess. Yeah, there's a trick. On a Venu. Perfect. So there's probably a wildfire. Oh, and a Groudon, okay. Interesting. So we are an Iron Bull Venusaur now. Which is something, I guess. Alright. Alright, alright. Uh it's okay. I think if I might just get an intimidate off all of the is the thing. We're at 142. Uh no we won't. Can. Yeah. Damn chain. We're a little off living actually. Because of the wildfire chip. Um I will tr still try though and go for like a sleep powder and go into my instant. I think that's like a pretty good play for me. If I get the Zacian switch, if I get the Zacian play wrong, that's a little annoying, but I feel they probably have to target Groudon. And like stopping wildfire damage from my Groudon even more is like pretty important too, so. But yeah, we see the T wave actually. That's fine. This kind of tells me this is probably not a behemoth blade in my Venusaur. It's probably into the Groudon, right? Yeah, okay, cool. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> Especially if I get a sleep powder in return. We do not get sleep powder in return. <laughs> I will go for a sleep powder into Grim Snarl this turn though. And a fake out into the Zacian slot. I want to slow play this just a little bit. So I'm going to sleep powder here and go for a fake out into Zacian. 
So probably this Protect Zacian is why I'm not going for another Sleep Powder into it. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, there's the Protect. There's a fine. I am like tricked Iron Ball and <laughs> Thunder Wave onto my Venu though. Which is a little spooky. But yeah, we see a foul play, probably on the Venu. Or on the instant, it's fine. Does put me to say good. All these paras, bro. <laughs> They're going crazy with it. So here's the thing. Because we're in this position now, we have two options, right? If we think they target Venusaur, then we can just go for a Flare Blitz, switching our Groudon. But if we think they target Ensign, we just go for a Sleep Powder here into the Zacian slot and we go into our Hello. I think overall that's the safest play. So I'm just going to lock it in and hope it works. It is a bit unfortunate how our uh, positioning has worked out, because if we didn't get paroed for any of these turns, we would have had an Asleep Zacian, and then we probably would have just been in a much more comfortable position. But yeah, we see the Sacred Sword. If we get the Sleep Powder now, though, that is very huge. But yeah, this is a foul play into the Venusaur slot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. That took like... A lot of asking there. So here, 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 here. I can go for a fake out into the Grim and stop like Grim from uh, parrying my OO if I want. So we have a lot of buttons we can click. I can sacred the. Sacred Fire the Grim. Zacian gets a guaranteed sleep turn here. This is a little riskier because I could have gone like switch out Groudon, Sacred Fire Zacian, guarantee the KO now. But I want to like try to minimize the chance that Grim's all... Okay. Gets through the turn. Yeah, we get the burn kill. This probably depends a bit on if we get a Sacred Fire Burn, though. <laughs> I am slowly realizing. Can we get, like, a Sacred Fire Burn, then we auto-win? But if we don't, then it's still a little spooky. Um... I'm gonna go for a parting shot and a Groudon and a Protect here. Just to try to like, give me a better chance. It's a little spooky though, Groudon does have Stone Edge, it's not like Rock Tomb or anything. So I have to get like, a decent amount of drops on it, or to stop it from this ending, me, ending my life. Let's see though. Oh, I'm good on uh, Breejax. I don't know if anyone else is though. Let's see. Zacian's still asleep, that's perfect. We get the blades. Do we live? Do we live this? I think we live this, right? With Shuga, maybe? Come on. Be goaded. Goaded. <laughs> So now here we get this down to minus two. I kind of want a Sacred Fire Burn though, but... I think I go for the Sacred Fire Attack into... Groudon and hope I get the burn. <sighs> but if I don't get the burn though, it's like pretty bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the Sacred Fire Attack and Exhaustion, actually. Let's hope it gets asleep again. It's still a little greedy by me, but I don't think Groudon should KO me at minus two. 
I'm more worried about the Zacian. I need, probably need to confirm the KO on Zacian earlier, though. Okay, we do get another sleep turn. Good. Because I can fake out Recover, though. So we're pretty good. We're pretty good. So even the Sto As long as Stone Edge doesn't crit this turn, I guess. Stone Edge crit would be pretty bad. But I don't think it will kill, though. Either way. Please don't kill. Greedy, not a fan of follower only chat. So true. Wait, is my chat follower only? It shouldn't be, right? I would never turn that on. But you saying that makes me curious if I am. Okay, good, good, good. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, wait, I thought I always had that. Did we turn it off? Oh, yeah, yeah, we win. Cool. Uh, I should have killed the Sashian earlier, though, for sure. I just didn't want to get T-waved. It worked out for the best, though. It worked out for the best. He allowed me a lot of sleep powders. Game three, dude. Game three. Can Ho-Oh beat Ringadon? <laughs> Alright. I think Venu was correct. For sure. I did like having a Venu Grout on lead. A fair bit. Ringa cringe. So true, so true. Yeah, I did like having Venu down lead and like Ho. -Oh. Let's do it again. I'll run it back. All right, I'll run it back, dude. Communication with the other trainer was interrupted. Huh? Triple question mark? We're in team preview, so it doesn't really matter, but... You good? I'll search with the same code. But I hit him with the you good and the triple question mark. <laughs> Alright, sim code. Cool. He psyched me out, bro. Now I totally don't remember what I was bringing that game. <laughs> I might have to change now, bro. I'm so spooked. Alright. Let's see. Define your channel. So true, so true. Alright. What do we do here, dude? What do we do? <laughs> Probably joking. Yo. But honestly, though, if they beat Holo during Pride Month, they have an issue. That's all I'm saying. It's literally... It's, you can't do that to the Rainbow Bird during Pride Month. That has to be illegal. <laughs> so I think they had a moment of their conscience where they're like, Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be beating up the Holo on this day. <laughs> And then they DC'd, but then their conscious left them because they realized they're playing Ring of Dawn with a Grim Snarl. But yeah, I think I just weed Venu Dawn again with like Ho -Oh and uh. <laughs> you sure you good? You sure you good? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um <laughs> All right, uh Black <laughs> Oh, what the heck? 
<laughs> Half the third, you gotta take the win. On God, on God. They're those nerves for game three. They're getting shy. Yo, so true. They're just taking a moment to look into their conscience right now. And say, do they really want to be the Rainbow Bird in Pride Month? Uh. Okay, well, we got it again. We got it again. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. I don't know if Eerie Impulse is worth, but it's still pretty fine, honestly. I do think you probably want a dark move on Incin, though, instead of Taunt. And I don't think you want Bulldoze on Groudon. That's the second thing. I would be like Shadow Claw, or it would be. Yeah, I'll this be Sa Shadow Claw actually. Never mind. How'd this be Shadow Claw? Yeah. Is it the router? Also, watch me be the one who's actually desync. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Cause I was having internet problems earlier. But it's working fine now, so like, I don't think that was my side. It'd be pretty whack. Uh, Protect, probably. I just like having Protect on that team. I mean, like, Life or Thunderous variants. They made all the weirdest wishes. They backfired on them spectacularly. Honestly, Slushy, you should have forfeited. It's Pride Month, man. It's Pride Month. <laughs> Can't be doing that. Um... But yeah, Eerie Impulse is fine on the slot though. That's why like having Protect when I'm wanting a Life Orb. Oh, well. Okay, I am a little psyched out. I was second guessing what I go. <laughs> I deserve to do what I want. <laughs> but are you a gay father though? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if not, you don't. <laughs> It's only Father's Day. <laughs> it is not Father's Month, I regret to inform you. <laughs> oh, well, oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Ask your daughter what they think of you beating up a rainbow bird. I don't think they would be very happy with you. Unless you fed them it for dinner, then maybe they would be happy for you. <laughs> Maybe that would work out. Otherwise, I don't know. I'd, otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, not very wholesome. <laughs> Alright. So here, they have Trick. And that's pretty spooky. <laughs> they do have Trick. And I'm a little spooked out, in fact. Oh, they go in Grimstonalization, and that makes it a little simplified, actually. So here I can go for like uh, Blades and switch into Ensign. If they go for Trick, I don't care. <laughs> like, actually, I, I don't really care, dude. So yeah, I'm going to Ensign immediately, and this nullifying all their shenanigans. Going to Quick Blades. I was considering quicking Max Quake, but the problem if I quick Max... What the fuck? <laughs> what? Huh? I'm still online. It's uh, I'm still online. I mean, I do be streaming right now, so we both have proof. <laughs> okay. He was asking about uh, like showing proof. Oh 
Oh, gentlemaning to SD. Preferably not, actually. <laughs> Preferably not, actually. <laughs> One more try. Same leads. Same everything. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, most often, it's the one able to Yeah. It's on someone, but like, is it me though? Does that mean it's on my side? Poor connection error? Yeah. And I would have, like, mad frame drops again. <laughs> I'd have, like, mad frame drops. If it doesn't work, we will just call Judge. Yeah. Maybe streaming is sucking the bandwidth the Switch needs? Uh... I highly doubt that, actually. I have very good internet. I have very good internet until Xfinity decides to uh, this be a jerk. So maybe I have support internet, but you know. I kind of doubt it's on my side. Yeah, they get thrown up right out of the menu, and they get like... They're no longer online. But it's also... There's DCs that happen where both players remain online. So it, it can be pretty weird. <laughs> I don't mind too much, because it was only during like... Same leads, same uh, everything, so... Most of them were basically in team preview. I hope I did the... yeah. Okay. Okay, that, that black screen actually made me scared at DC'd again. Because <laughs> I was mentally this imagining it was happening. You better swing. Yeah, I'm calling the judge after this game. I'm... I'm obligated to. I have no choice on the matter. But yeah, we didn't quick buttons on... The, well, I quicked buttons, actually. I did already quick my buttons, so I'll just quick the same buttons again. You got meet up in the parking lot, so true. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing the same play again. Till the judge the sub, so true. Honestly, if the judge rules out in my favor, they should <laughs> They will ban from my Twitch channel on God. Yeah, see the Behemoth Boy, probably in the Venusaur I imagine. Oh, and a Groudon, that's fair. But it doesn't really do much for them, I think. Unfortunately for me, though, my Groudon has, like, zero attack. So I'm not gonna kill here. But it's still, like, a very good position, right? It is still a very good position. And... Hmm. So here's the interesting thing. I could click Rock to him. <laughs> I could this quick rock to him and flare blitz here. And go for funny play. But then again, I don't want I actually don't want Grimstar to go down. Because they protect their uh they protect their Zacian this turn, right? Then I get kind of screwed. So I'm just gonna fake out Rock Tomb the Zacian in case they go for uh Charizard switch. Oh they switch Grim! Ah Damn it. That was a good play. That was a good play for sure. I thought they would switch Zacian out. Oh, they, they didn't switch either. They didn't switch either. Okay, sure. I mean... They don't die though. Which is a bit unfortunate, but I mean... Mm, I'll take it. I'll deal with it. Let's go to Rock Tomb again, actually. <laughs> and there's no protect and parting shot. 
Because if they... They're, they're going to be taking, like, Life Orb, and they're going to go for, like, Wildfire, probably. It is a little risky what I'm doing, because I thought Rock Tomb Fake Out would surely kill the Zacian, and it didn't. <laughs> but this fight trades pretty well. Because if they target my Groudon, right? They have to double target... They have to go for, like, a full-on Wildfire to kill, and if they go on for the full Wildfire, then my Instant gets a Parting Shot on the Zard. And I think that's, like, a fair trade. And they go for the airstream into my uh instant then i get a rock tomb so i think that's like a reasonable trade i wish i hope it's a reasonable trade i really hope it's a reasonable trade okay yeah it's a wildfire that's fine that makes me really wish i went for like a rock fall there Actually, no, I would have died. <laughs> I would have died. But yeah, we get the parting shot. And I think that's the most important thing here. Get parting shot. Go into hello. I think Ho can win this now. I think Ho wins. With the parting shot ship. I should be able to airstream Grim for the KO. I should be like able to fake out it too. Then I can airstream and then go for parting shots. I think that should work out pretty well for me. I think at least. It is annoying that Zacian's on like 1 HP though. Because I'm not going to be faster with my hello slot. But I think it's like fine. Pretty sure this is fine. If they go out to Zacian to, like, conserve their Grim, then that's just a sack KO. So, that's fine too. So, I think I cover a lot of options with this play. And, like, it being minus one, with even with Life Orb, I don't think it's gonna do enough to my hoe to be a problem. I just need to make sure Grim doesn't stay around any longer. And then I have to like check uh, Sun Turns. Sun Turns are like the second thing that could be problematic. Depending on the situation. If he gets like two Airstreams, right? And then he goes for... He just outspeeds my Venusaur. That's a little spooky. <laughs> and he does have Heat Wave. Yeah, we get a Fake Out. Airstream. And hit the instant. That's fine by me. That is fine by me, actually. He has one more turn of Dynamax. One more turn. If they go Zacian, I think I airstream and switch out my Ensign. Because they're going to be Assault Vest on uh, Groudon. Okay, they go Zacian. How many turns of Sun, though? That's another important thing. If there's like two turns of Sun, then the play I'm making is pretty optimal. But there's not two turns. It's a little awkward still. One. Perfect. It's actually perfect. So I, th I think I go Airstream and I go for... I switch out the Venu here. Wait, how many turns of uh, Wildfire 2? Yeah, 2. Maybe I don't want to switch. I don't want to switch actually. I'm just going to Airstream. And go for... um. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> like actually doesn't really matter. I'll just quick burn fake out because I'm cool. <laughs> Let's quick fake out. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Let's just show him that I predicted his turn. <laughs> That's all that gets me. This shows him that I predicted his turn. 
This this way I can serve my focus sash. And then Sun's gonna be back up here. And I'll be able to go for a max flare and a leaf storm onto the Groudon that comes in. So I should be able to win. I should be able to win here. Because our sash is still intact and they can't protect uh, Groudon anymore. So this is, looks pretty good. Yeah, Sun's going to be up again. Uh, Venu, hello. There's going to be no protect on the Groudon. But I had this Leaf Storm. And I had this uh, go for a Flare. As long as Leaf Storm does not miss here, we win the game. Uh, Backseating was really tough when you were talking about switching instant. Uh, I considered it. <laughs> For like a brief second. There's the heat wave, yeah. If v misses, miss it, v avoids. I think that confirms the game. I think that confirms it. Because yeah, we get the Leaf Storm. Even if Groudon hits... Actually, yeah, even if Groudon hit... Well, it didn't confirm, it didn't confirm. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it. Well, that is still fine. Let's get the Flare. And now uh, Brave Bird from Hello confirms game. And they can never kill me with any of their moves. So they have to like, okay, what's the scenario? It would have to be like a hurricane crit into my, it would have to be like hurricane crit into hello over here, right? It would have to be hurricane crit into hello. And if that happens, then I can just sleep powder. Okay, this is heat wave. Even heat wave crit never kills hello. So I win. Cool. Sick. Set you free. The better fire pigeon wins on God. Well, Confuge hit wouldn't even beat me because my hoe is like really bulky. <laughs> and then they would have to hit Hurricane again. <laughs> it isn't less unlikely. They would have to get a 50% Hurricane hit. And then they would have to, like, get another 50% hurricane hit. In order to win that. <laughs> and they would have to not get Sleep Powder, too. If I hit Sleep Powder there, it's still pretty bad. So overall, there's like, nah, great, nah, great. Happy Pride from Hello, so true. And my opponent has been confirmed not homo ho homophobic. <laughs> Officially. They respected hello. <laughs> Free. <laughs> Wait, honestly though, if you beat hello, you should be ashamed ashamed of yourself. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no homophobia here. No homophobia. No ho slander is allowed ever. <laughs> he is my he is our icon. Also, oh my oh no. <laughs> How many games are left though? Cause that took a while. Oh, there's still one game left at like one two. Okay. I think this is a tournament you kinda just have to drop if you're XQ though. Cause only top eight. You don't really have good odds. Unless you put like an undefeated. Early on, I guess. Hello, phobic here. Hello, cool, but like, whooper team when? I'm waiting for the next, uh... The next generation for whooper comeback. That's the plan.
he wants you on to just keep playing because he has nothing better to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you're one two, it's just uh, uh, not really much going for you at that point. This is unfortunate for me because that's the last <laughs> match. I have to wait during it. Which, seriously though, if you are not finishing your set before the Ho-Oh player, I think that's a problem. That's all I'm saying. I personally do not wish you kept playing Nino. I don't need more Shed in my games. <laughs> we need more zero more Sininja. But it's gonna be funny if you bring that to Milwaukee, because we're getting the Sheninja European players. Like, you're gonna get the Sheninja icons out at Milwaukee, dude. Da, 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 da. What is the trans rights Pokemon? <laughs> I'm very curious. Well, the thing is, Nino, we are getting the European players at that tournament, by the way. In case you didn't. Oh, Sylveon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. For sure, for sure. Even Sylveon shiny form, especially. That's an icon of trans pride. For sure, for sure. Scalar Rapidass had a chance, but ultimately that mod is lame, so it doesn't count. Playing Sinor, do you see the nickname? Oh. <laughs> I don't think Incineroar should be an icon of everything. Like, Incineroar would have been the Kardashians. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that is all I'm saying, dude. That's all I'm saying. Since <laughs> I got a V. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> but actually, probably. <laughs> most possibly. Most possibly. Galarian Ponyta was the disappointment. <laughs> that Pokemon deserved better. Was this not appreciated and they decided to give it regular rapid ass stats? They should have just made it into Tapu Lele instead of Ndidi. Ndidi deserved nothing. Galarian Ponyta should have been our Lele. Oh man. Ah, five minutes left in the round. Ah. By lo no. No. No, no, no. But they can switch with their allies, and I think that's more wholesome. And they can give you a helping hand on the <laughs> on the ride home. Both disappointments is cool designs wasted. Yeah. I, I don't know why they didn't allow like alternate foam forms to have different stats i think the male rams bottom and the female sheep's butt that really does sound like you love in dd that really does sound like it so i approve a helping hoob a helping hoob <laughs> the young colt giving you its helping hoob Alright. Alright, we're officially at like four minutes left. Crazy. So we have uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve people at like X1 or better right now. Twelve people at X1 or better. Which is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, I don't mind, yo. 
I'm more of a male Ndidi fan myself. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, I think that was actually very cool then, because Magmar is butt cheeks. It was very fitting. I personally agree with the design philosophy behind Magmar. There's no doubt in my mind. Wait, actually, the correct design. Actually correct. Like, seriously, that is all anyone will remember Magmar for? Ever. <laughs> Literally. That has a butt cheek head. Nothing else? Just that. Just that. And I think that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I do think that's pretty cool. Why is... Oh, there... Huh. Weird. I was checking the streams page of Limitless and it only has like some people updated. But we're the same record now and yet it's only showing uh, Aldrich as a uh, 3-1. And showing me is 2-1 and Tom is 2-1, so. So I think it's very rude, actually. Magmar really bring a new region meaning to ass face. It also brings a new meaning to ass, too. <laughs> it's like how it is in competitive Pokemon, so you know. Though I will say one thing I miss about Magmar is follow me, Magmar. That was actually pretty cool. Like having follow me in Flame Body. Is actually a cool utility for the ability that we never got to see outside of that. But unfortunately, that was XD Gills of Darkness locked. So, like, who cares? <laughs> it is not a Pokemon we'll ever be able to use ever again. Same with uh, Follow Me Blastoise. Unless you play, like, Devil's OU or something, then it's still going to be legal. But in, like, actual formats, no. Elect Electabuzz had it too, which was neat. But for like static, I believe. Let me check actually. Yeah, that's static. Like that's a cool utility of it. Of follow me and redirection. Even if it's just like a percentage chance. And then having an electric type, a fire type, and a water type. As like follow me users potentially. I think those could have had a like, genuine impact on VGC for a long time if we kept them. Especially like Blastoise, especially because we would be able to have like fake out follow me now. Not anymore, but Doubles OU is actually like the starting grounds of a lot of like really good VGC players. Or maybe not even the starting grounds, just how they like... They played Doubles OU and then they like got into like VGC more and more. Oh yeah, Psycho Boost Lugia will never come, ever. And speaking of Pokemon XD's Gills of Darkness, yo. Also, I deserve credit for remembering that Magmar was in that game. Not really, because it was just, uh, XD was the one with the Kanto Mons, but... I'll be honest, DOU this format kind of sucks. They got rid of, like, all the fun things. And they didn't get rid of Urshifu. I think that was very uncool. Well, they didn't get rid of all the Urshifus. Wait, they didn't get rid of Ursh Water as well. They only got rid of Ursh Dark, I believe. Which was kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Let me check, actually. Urshifu. Yeah, they only got rid of the Dark one, which I, I really think is stupid. Did they get rid of Kartana? Yeah, they got rid of Kartana too. Which I also didn't like. <laughs> Pretty lame metagame now. The only cool thing about uh, DOU right now is it's the one format where you can play Kirin Black in. And it's actually going to be decent. <laughs> it is the one format where you can bring out old Kirin. You also get like Genesec too. If I could play like Devil's OU in game, it would be so much more cool. Unfortunately, with how timer works, playing Devil's OU in game is like. It's not possible. 
Make a petition for Game Freak and Pokemon to bring us or region I want in our shadow Pokemon game so bad. Yeah. I, I don't think we'll get it, but I think we might get remakes, maybe. Like, I don't I don't put it past them to have like an <laughs> a deluxe version of Pokemon Coliseum or something. Which I think would be really cool if this is like a faster game. Because the one problem with Coliseum and XD and Gales of Darkness is the game is like really slow. It is really, really slow. Yeah, a uh, shadow tag was a fine ban, I think. Also, it's not really single bias. Shadow tag was banned specifically for doubles. For one reason alone, Gothitelle is toxic. <laughs> and it also got banned because of like Mega Gengar during like Gen 6, I think. I think XY was the one with the. No, it was Gen 7 with the Gengar ban. Gengar's still like legal in uh, Gen 6 OU. And the main thing is like, is the gameplay is fine, the pacing is all that's fine. It's just the, everything else is slow, and getting to everything is slow. No, no, no. They are saying Goth is amazing, that's why they banned it. It's not a single focus ban at all. It's, uh, the fact Gothitelle can quick, like, fake out and, uh, hypnosis and shenanigans like that. But they decide, like, yeah, no, we don't want Gothitelle. Da, da, da. The Shadow Pokemon listen, not that great until late game, which always irritated me. I think it was fine. If you think about, like, the context of, uh, when the game came out, how they did Shadow Pokemon makes a lot of sense. Because Johto just didn't have many good Pokemon. It's just like... That was just the only way to get Johto Mons back then. Because of the... Whole shenanigans you get with uh, moving over to a new console. New pairings are up. Yo. Finally. Boy, I love gaming. Oh! We got a free win. And we're playing against Yokei. Can we play on SD? Preferably not, actually. Preferably not. I do not want to play on SD. I really don't want to play on SD, actually. Well, we're playing Yoke. Who played Ho in a tournament I played, like... One of the few times I played, like, a Series 8 tour... With like Slim and all that stuff, and I played like Necrozma Ducks main. I think the finals was like no, it was top four, I think, and it was me versus Yokei with the Ho-Oh team. And I had Necrozma Ducks made. <laughs> oh no, it was the t -t 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 series ten actually, series ten. Because one restricted, no Dynamax. I want to run uh, Necrozma Ducks main in any other scenario other than no Dynamax. Or if I have to run like really funny mons. Like if I were running Decidueye, then I might force myself to. Those two console switches because we moved from 64 to GameCube and Game Boy 1 to Game Boy Advance. Yeah. And there this wasn't a Johto game yet. And you could only get Pokemon from uh Gen 2 through like Fire Red I Islands. And I believe Fire Red didn't come out until after like Colosseum Rexy. Are, are you are you kidding me, Evil? Huh? Wait, what? I I'm just going to show you guys this. They're in a... What? Oh my god, dude. Ah... <sighs> The thing is, I don't want to stream Showdown. Uh... This is annoying.
Should I show this play that I'm gonna show down? I'll let you guys decide. I mean. Okay. If you guys want me to play on Showdown, but... I'll accept it, but otherwise I won't. Yes. Yeah, Fire Red and Leaf Green were after, like, Emerald, I think. Or even if it was, like, before, I think it was, like... I'm pretty sure it was Ruby Sapphire, then Colosseum XD, and then Emerald, and then XD Gills... Oh, no, then Fire Red, Leaf Green, and then XD Gill of Darkness. Uh... I'll just ask a judge. Up in the side. only competitive reason is that they don't have uh they just don't have the game <laughs> don't just leave up to a judge also and they're trying to guilt trip me because they're saying they already played on showdown which i don't this is kind of interesting because they're like oh i already played with uh ray and cml yeah I i'm giving i'm giving the judge this the call I I'm kind of annoyed because I don't want to stream on Showdown, but... Ah, damn, it's up to me. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, uh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> No, he- I believe him. He definitely doesn't have the game. Let's just play, screw it. Alright. I might not stream, though. And just have my screen on silent and just show you the games after. <laughs> Cause I don't want everything to just be like revealed now in the open like that. But suppose I kind of wanted Poppy to just make the call for me. That's why I called him in the first place. <laughs> Cause I feel I'm in a weird position here, you know. Cause I know even if I lose, they won't be able to play the tournament against other people anyways. So it's like... 
weird. But I still... Man. Oh, they're playing me with Shininja too. <laughs> I kind of regret accepting it now. I kind of regret it. No, I actually believe them. Because they only play at Mount Silver tournaments. So I know they're telling the truth. Two stuff. They have a Rillaboom though, so it's not as bad. Are they safety goggles though? That's probably another question I have to ask myself. I'm going to assume no. So I'm going to go like Venu Dawn, like Hoback, and Gastro. Hey, that worked out. <laughs> Convenient. For Hellstorm, and they crit my uh, Gastrodon. Cool. <laughs> they had this Hellstorm crit my Gastrodon turn one. That's nice. All right.
Well, we won game one. I'll show it after the stream that's through the replays, but... Regardless of result. Um... Do this again, huh? Could be a fake out. Read it. Oh, they fake out meaning. Okay. Okay, I won. <laughs> oh, bud. That's weird, though. Remember <laughs> the Volpera? <laughs> so true, so true. <laughs> uh, I'm getting mocked a little bit, you know, it's fine. Uh. Oh my god. This is weird though. Um, da, da, da. Take us through the replay. Yeah, the replay time. Yes, how epic. It's my favorite time. So, yes, you see. Replay time. <laughs> really slowly to emulate Pokemon on the cart. If it isn't really slow, is it really... Oh, sh... Bah! Oh my god. Uh, okay. Music off! Music off. Okay, there we go. So we got cut... Oh wait, right off the bat, I just see that, like... Into this, I think I can just weed, like... I just, as long as I have Hello, Groudon, Instant Gastro, I think I'm always at the advantage. Because they have no, like... They don't have a mom that hits my Hello. So right away on this side of inherent advantage is having Ho around as long as like Kyogre can't like endgame be in the back. That's really the only worry I have. So right away I think like this is probably like a f 
faster Kyogre. You see like Zacian is in Roboom. Kind of reminds me of like the Shininja stuff. So I felt like comfortable enough that I could probably just weed like Groudon and Incin. Cubons that both have a way to hit Shininja, have a way to hit like most of the teams. Because like Groudon as a Dynamax option is very strong to a lot of these Pokemon. Also this Ho-Oh is strong in general here too. So I just decided to go like Groudon Incin with like Ho-Oh, um, Gastro on the back. Okay, it's a little too slow. <laughs> it is like, it's more like cart that way, but it's a little too slow. This is a little too slow. Oh, I actually went Groudon V new this game. Never mind. But I still got Ho Gastro on the back, so I just try to switch out Gastro, try to bait like a max water into like Groudon or something. Hailstorm's like fail fair too. But the thing is, like, I'm still comfortable switching into Gastro normally, even if they Hailstorm, which is why I decided to just go for that switch, anyways. But yeah, instead we just see the fake out and a hailstorm, and it gets a crit kill on my Gastrodon. I was very annoyed after this. I was like, oh my, oh my god, dude. I lost my Gastrodon turn one for nothing. It's kind of cringe. And yeah, I just go the ho. I try to bait out Max Geyser into my ho slot. I know that's their only way to effectively deal with my ho. And I do actually bait it out. I almost go down, unfortunately, but we do get the blades. So right away here, I can go for a sleep powder into the Kyogre, right? But then ally switch and I get screwed for <laughs> I would get screwed. So I just switch out my hello, go for the sleep powder into the Shininja, being ready for the ally switch. And of course we do see the ally switch, knowing that of course there's this a sleep powder, you know. It's pretty simple, pretty simple. I didn't go for the leaf storm that turn because I was still like not sure how bulky they were. I didn't want to take any light chances. Yeah, we just get the sleep powder there. And like if I sleep powder shed, that's kinda okay as well. Not the greatest, but it's always like kind of okay. I feel like Hello in the back could have like airstream, airstream, airstream. And as long as I get enough speed boost on Groudon, then I pretty much have an auto win. And since we saw like instant already, I'm like pretty confident that Zacian's in the back now. So I think like I can just like afford to airstream here for the rest of the game. Yeah, we just get the airstream and the Kyogre. Kyogre goes down. Do you see a Poltergeist, which does surprising amounts of damage? <laughs> it's honestly kind of disgusting that port the guy is that much. And kind of crazy that they gave Shed like a very powerful stab move. And we see Incineroar come back in. So right away I can just airstream and I can just like quick whatever button I want. I quicked like Rock Tomb into the Shininja ultimately. But I just go for the airstream into Incin that turn. And here on this next turn, I thought to myself, they're probably going to go for like a Poltergeist Flare Blitz double up into my Groudon, right? And because I predicted that, I thought, okay, I just double up Shed. I don't think this is a turn they quick endure, and ultimately they didn't quick endure that turn. So I get a guarantee that the Shininja goes down. As we just see the Airstream, we see the Fire Punch. No endure, easy knockout. And Instant goes for a Parting Shot instead of this game the KO on my Groudon, which is probably alright for me. Because now I can just quick Sacred Fire for the rest of the game, even though I'm like minus three attack on my Hello right now. Thus getting any bit of Sacred Fire damage. Or like a burn potential. It's just like too powerful at this point. And we do get a fake out on my Hello. But on this Quaking Blades here. And it's just going to confirm the knockout on the Ensign. But unfortunately misses. Zacian takes like enough chip. And we get the blade into our Groudon. So right away Hello, This has like such a huge typing advantage in this scenario right. And we also have a Venu who's going to be in the sun. So I can go for like Weather Ball and Brave Bird. Into the Ensign Ore. Just to lock up the game. Yeah that's exactly what I do. I go for the Brave Bird. This is the last turn of Sun though, so Zacian will be faster, which makes this scenario like a little bit more annoying. It's a little bit more annoying. And yeah, let's see the Weather Ball. Now I just go for the Sacred Fire. I do get the Bird. <laughs> which funny enough, kind of backfired a little, because I actually quick Sleep Powder. I didn't quick Leaf Storm. I should have always have quick uh, Leaf Storm on that position, but I thought to myself, if I miss a Sacred Fire here, it's more positive for me to have Sleep Powder because Leaf Storm's not doing enough damage anyways. And if I get the burn, there's no way the Zacian can break through my ho in the first place, even with like critical hits. So I think Sweet Powder was like still correct anyways. And yeah, I just lock it up with the Leaf Storm. Sacred Fire miss on that first turn and we get the game. And now we're on to game two. This is the game where I just go like Groudon, I just go Venusaur. This knowing like his type of matchups or this overall pretty bad in most of my things i can just kind of afford to go ground on venusaur this game i just like huh i'm gonna greed for a sleep powder i saw even if you take down my gastrodon that i just have like enough presence here to this slowly get into the game so i decided this okay i'll just let my venu go down and get the blades off we do get a critical hit which was pretty lucky 
but I still felt like I was in like a decent position because all I wanted was a guarantee I can like go Gastro on here and then start airstreaming for the rest of the game. That's exactly what I do. I get the airstream and the instant. And they do get a hailstorm with the life orb chip doing a lot of damage to my health, my uh, Gastrodon and we do see Rillaboom. And this is why I sacked Venusaur early instead of allowing chip on Gastrodon because I felt like as long as I like have my ho protected by Gastrodon here, I'm just in a good spot regardless. And we do see the lightning onto my ho oh but that damage is like perfectly acceptable because Kyogre is just going to lose his Dynamax here. And I'm like not scared anymore because you're a 50% Thunder and Sun. And I can just go for an airstream on your Rillaboom again and confirm that I outspeed Zacian if it tries to switch in. We do get Thunder, Thunder Parod, which actually does give me a lose condition here, right? Because I need to like... I need to this quick recover here and I need to quick like blades. I do actually fortunately hit my blades, but I missed the sacred fire. So now it's like, oh god. If I get para, the situation's like so bad. So I try to go for a recover here, because if I miss sacred fire, then like I get killed by a behemoth blade, and I didn't want to deal with that. So I just went for the recover first, which unfortunately this led to like more odds happening, and I predicted the play rough going into the Gastrodon, guessed it wrong. Holo still lives anyway, so I was comfortable doing that, but then we got Para, so we invited a little more like lose conditions off the Thunder Para. But ultimately we still win, so it's fine, it's fine. Pop. And now we're the first uh, match of the third of it. <laughs> of the round two, and now we just have uh, nothing to do. Nothing to do. And all the stream matches are done too. So that's really all we can talk about this round, I suppose. I suppose, I suppose. But we are 4 1 now, I suppose. Pretty cool, I guess. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Do you have time for a ladder game? Uh, er, laddering, er, awkward. Laddering, more like cringe. <laughs> Instead of laddering, what if we this, uh, look at Aldrich Yawn's tired face? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. How do I... I just want to see his webcam. <laughs> I don't want to see anything else. Uh... Shoot. No. Hold up, hold up. Perfect. <laughs> to follow Orui, so I can't even tease him. Honestly, probably the move. No. Alright. We're now on Alder Extreme. <laughs> I wish I was, like, good enough that I knew how to remove, uh, everything else. Fixing my window capture. Perfect. <laughs> we are Aldrich Yawn observers. Well, Top Cut is today also? Yo. It's crazy, Rene. That's crazy. So true, chat. So true, older chat. <laughs> okay, I'm done doing this. 
It's so weird because I can't hear what he's saying because I just have a mu everything muted on Twitch. The only Pengi was streaming though, on oh, god. We could be a Pengi watch stream. <laughs> I would watch his Meowstic Dialga Kyogre gameplay. I mean, who won it, honestly? Who won it? Oh, we got paired down as well, so if we lose our next round, we're out of the tournament. <laughs> it's only top 8 cut. If I lose, I'm out of the tournament now. I just realized it. At least most likely, because I think the other XQs will probably be stronger. And the guys I lost to... I've been losing, so the only person I lost to lost already. Oh wait, Jackson Cole's 3-1. We might have our savior. Cause I, I beat Jackson Cole round one on the no-show. So that might be my hero today. Who are my other opponents? I know I played uh Francis. He's like 2-3 now. Was that sad? The person you lose to round two, going two three immediately after beating you. <laughs> that doesn't feel too great for my resistance. And then otherwise, we played Art Car. Did Art Car win? Was Art Car and then Daniela. It's Art Car. I think Art Car. Might have dropped. Yeah, they dropped. That's not a great sound. And then... Daniela. Where's Daniela? Ah, uh, they're also 2-3. Okay, my resistance is ass. <laughs> it's so ass, dude. There's still like 25 minutes too. And it's just Jackson Cole, who I need to win. And then there's the Pengi game. So we're waiting for a long time.
And top cut? Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll top cut. There's no way. I don't think there's a chance in hell I top cut. <laughs> if I lose. Oh, 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 ploppy, ploppy, poppy. Did you win? If you won, that's good for me. <laughs> I need you to win. <laughs> like, desperately. Da da da. Like, you have to be the hero, Poppy. Lost Sheninja. God damn it. Wait, Sheninja. That's actually not a bad matchup for me. I can play the Sheninja person. That would be pretty good. It's always, like, decent. As we saw in our showdown game. The there will have a Thunderous. Which actually isn't very problematic, because I can just, like, ho through that. If you will. But it is a bit more annoying. Because they can, like, T-wave me, and it's like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Which is funny that I'm, like... Two for two on predicting ally switch. But I'm only like one for two on getting anything out of it. We got the perfect ally switch prediction ratio today. Because we are better. Which I think the scariest thing about Shininja is a Shininja player who knows when they shouldn't this quick ally switch every turn. That's the scariest thing. But most Shininja players do it in like the most obvious ally switch scenarios. So it's like, eh. Not as problematic as it could be. Although there's also true chaos Shininja players. And those are the people who scare me. Where they will click it every turn even if you think it's a bad click. <laughs> That's the people I fear. Those are the people I fear. Try to read a guard, but didn't work out. Yeah, unfortunate. I'll say uh, that those Shininja teams are one reason I'm excited that we're getting away from this generation of Pokemon. <laughs> I don't think like Ally Switch was as problematic as it is like right now. Mainly because of how like turns can swing off of like one bad play. But in formats like this, this feels like hell to play against. Even though I haven't had like a significant problem with it in tournament yet. It's just like, oh my god, it's so toxic, you know? If this creates like an extra option, is the best way to describe it. And the extra option it creates... Kind of forces you to make plays that otherwise are like 100% awful. And Shininja kind of puts that to the extreme. <laughs> I will say it is like somewhat neat that Shininja gains some form of like viability with Ally because of Ally Switch. But man, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it actually. Personally, not a fan. I would be more of a. I would be more fine with it if it, like, Ally Switch worked like a Protect move. Because if Ally Switch went on a cooldown, like, Protect, or it fails after the second use, or if you Protect first or Endure first, then your Ally Switch is, like, 50-50. Or whatever the double Protect odds are. I think it's, like, a lot more acceptable than how it is now.
Oh, that's good, Poppy. Um... I may be a bit slow. Slow. Two. Three. Two. Help my brother. Alright. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Took me a second because my brother's ordering food. Oh god, this team. <laughs> Alright, how should I play this? How should I play this? Um, I think Red's gonna like you right away. It is the most important mod. By a, lot, a while. But other than that, I'm not sure what I should go. I might fake out slower, which is a bit problematic, because they can't always guarantee that they get the Grim proc. Half wondering if I should just go like a lucky instant. But I don't think I should. <laughs> I'm gonna go like a lucky Groudon. Then go, um. Venusaur. Gastro back. Actually, I'm gonna go ho back game one. Oh, that sounds so greedy, actually. <laughs> I thought about it for a second, but that sounds like really greedy. But it sounds so fun. I wanna go ho <laughs> I'll go gas for back. I'm not greedy. I'm actually pretty lame. Thought about it for a sec. Ultimately, I am not very epic. <laughs> I thought about it because like Ho for like Rillaboom seems pretty cool. Maybe dropping Binu would be fine. Oh, they go Zapdos Station. Okay. Cool, I guess. So here... I think I just want to Volt Switch and Rock Tomb the Zapdos. And then still up into it like that. 
Because they shouldn't have protect on Zap. And they're probably not gonna protect their Zacian. They'll probably go for a sub or something. Oh! Huh. What the heck? You know, I wasn't expecting this. I'll say that for sure. I did not think that this Dynamax is out those turn one. But they did. They really did. They did do me like that. Okay, they protect Zacian at least. It's pretty good for me. It's probably gonna be an Airstream though, which is a little spooky. Yeah, we go for the Volt Switch. Oh, I'm not instant back, I'm being you back. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> I see how my Poi calling was a little flawed. Just a little bit. Maybe didn't expect the Zapdos turn 1 max. Okay, we get the Airstream and Groudon though, that's fine. Get the rock to him. Good trade. And the crit too. I'm gonna go for Sleep Powder and Zapdos and switch out to Gastrodon here. Oh wait, they're probably not uh, damn. I'm stupid. This should have been like a flare. In a blades turn. Like, they're probably this, uh, safety goggles, and I made, like, a very bad play. But... we'll see. But they're most certainly the safety goggles, though. I kind of played in my head like they're either a Rocky Helmet or a Life Orb. But yeah, there's the safety goggles. That was so stupid of me. We are faster than, uh, Zacian, even at plus one speed, though. Which is good info. Yeah, our Gastro gets Behemoth weighted here. That's not the greatest. And we get air streamed. Okay. Oh man, that was not a good play, Darty. That was not a good play. Do you think they have Rilla back? They might. <laughs> With how they're playing it, they really might. That's why it's not good. That is not good at all. We'll go for the Quake anyways though. Man, I played this like really bad. Like I forgot my mod in the back, I forgot everything, and it is uh, it's showing a bit. It is showing a bit. Them turn one Dynamaxing was weird too, but I definitely had the tools to punish it better. I just didn't. <laughs> I literally just didn't punish them better. When I really could have. But. Only matters if they can punish me like hard back, anyways, so. We'll see. But they most certainly have Rilla back right now, and this is like really bad. It's a really bad way to play into Rilla back. Yeah, we see the blade. Hoping and Quake should be able to kill Zacian, I hope. Like, surely it will. Yeah, we do see the airstream. Kill. I don't have a good way to deal with Rillaboom anymore, which is very spooky. Do not have a good way to deal with Rillaboom. Get the lefties though. Lefties is very nice. 
Um... Thing is, if I go Alexi, they don't have to fear me this going for a fire punch. So I'm gonna go Groudon. Okay, they go instant first. It's a good start. <laughs> I do prefer seeing instant there. For sure, for sure. I'll go for the Blades Hailstorm in the Zapdos, in case they go for like a roll of boom switch and try to be cute. Okay, we see the fake out. It's could this be an airy impulse as well, but I'm more alright with it, so. Yeah, we just see the roost. Get a crit. How many turns of... Okay, yeah, they're plus two speed. Um... I think the only way this goes south for me is if they're... Roll a boom. They have to be like, roll a boom back. So I'm gonna preemptively read a roll a boom switch in with a hailstorm. We see an airy impulse, that's fine. Get a rock tomb. This should kill the Zapdos. As it does. Is this going to be a relevant switch in though? Parting shot into Gastro again. Is this Rilla? Kyogre. Okay. Winnable. Winnable, winnable, winnable. So we are giving them a Hellstorm chip, which actually backfires a bit in this scenario. I guess I should have just went for the Quake. I am still plus one Spadaf though, so I will have uh, one target for sure. And I can go for a Yawn too. Alright. <laughs> That's kind of funny to look at. But either way, I think of this quick blades here, and I go for a yawn in the Kyogre. And hope I can live the Ice Beam in the Fake Out double up. If I can live the Ice Beam and I get a yawn off, then I think we're pretty good to win the game. Probably. But if not, then it's a little spooky still. That's a little spooky. But I do have a Life Orb Lucky in the back. I do wish I Quake though. If I Quaked, we would be in like such a good position. Okay, we are seeing the Origin Pulse. Cool. So is this if uh, Throat Chop kills me then? They are faster than my uh, Groudon though, which is a bit unfortunate. But what can you do, right? What can you do? So as long as Throat Chop doesn't kill... My bold, uh, Castrodon. It does not. Alright, we still have scenarios. We do still have scenarios. <laughs> this is such a weird game.
Man, I really regret getting the hell up, though. That's punishing me, like, so hard. Like, so, so hard, dude. Alright, I just have to protect here with both. I know he's, like, presumably AV, so I can't really risk a target. There's an ice beam, of course. And there's a flare blitz. Yep. So now it depends a bit on like, can I get a KO with like Thunderbolt and EP at minus two? On to Ensign. Yo, we're getting lefties again. Could go for a yawn too and like try to stall him a bit with like sleep turns. <laughs> that seems a little too spooky though. Yeah, there's two turns of Halo. I was gonna go for Broke that my minus two Earth Power plus Thunderbolt can kill. Actually, maybe I yawn first. Yeah, uh... All this Earth Power. Man, it's so hard. I don't know what's like probability-wise better. Oh, we didn't kill. We're so close. Incense is gonna blitz now, too. Damn. Unfortunate, dude. We need at least, like, one sleep turn, is the thing. We need one sleep turn. But there's too many hill turns. God, <laughs> hitting- setting up hail actually is, uh, screwing me a bit. But if I get a sleep turn here, there's one sleep turn. Then I might be able to cheese this a bit. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not very confident. I can't protect here or I'm not going to get enough recovery to outlive Ice Beam. So I need to get the sleep turn here. Come on, sleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. No! Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, we lose. Unfortunate. If I got a sleep turn there on plus one, I should be able to live the Ice Beam after a protect. Because the hail is going to end that turn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, why did I hail storm, dude? I should have just, like, took the loss if he had Rillaboom back at that point. We would have been in a lot better position if we just went for Quake. And because he, like, Eerie Impulse and Party shot me too, hail storm was doing zero into Rillaboom. Even gained the prediction, so this wasn't worth at all. And it just, like, backfired in the worst way possible. But yeah, let's try, let's try. Round two, round two. I'm gonna go a lucky Venu actually. With Groudon and Ho back. And just ignore bringing Gastrod on this game. I think like he saw I went a very Rilla weak mode. So I'm gonna play like aggressively I can beat Rilla Boom if you go it. And maybe I could have brought Instant actually with that. By that logic, but it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it is totally fine. Okay, Zapdos Insin. That's fine. I kind of feel like I lightning the Insin turn one. <laughs> Let's have that urge, you know? Let's have that urge. Well, I'm actually going to go for helping him lightning to Zapdos instead. I think the instant probably has to fake out here. He doesn't want my Venusaur to sleep powder him. If he goes for a parring shot, I really don't, don't mind too much. Like, the worst play for me is, like, guard, parting shot. I feel like it's Zacian Rillaboom back this game, based on how uh, game one went. And he saw me, like, go for the Gastrol mode. Let's see. And we do- we did confirm that they are this the Safety Goggles Classic Zapdos. So going for this play is, like, pretty positive, I think. Yeah, there's the Zapdos Dynamax again. They really do, like, turn one Dynamaxing Zapdos a lot. <laughs> it's kind of surprising. 
It's kind of surprising, dude. Kind of surprising. Get the helping hand. There's a fake out into Venu. Oh, guard! Oh my god, are they guard parting, tr parting shot right now? Seriously? Oh my god, they're guard parting shot. Oh god. That's so annoying. That's so annoying, dude. That is so bad. That's so bad. Can't believe they did that. And they go, re yeah, they are Rillaboom back. Okay, I was right about that. I was right. That is so annoying for me. Oh my lord. I am a ho instant. I mean, I'm ho Groudon back this game, so it's not too bad that they decided to go this mode on me. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicking the right one. Yeah, I'm clicking the right one. Cool. <laughs> uh, damn. That really backfired. Like, really, really hard backfire. Yeah, we see the glide and the lucky, of course. Gives a lot of damage. We do get the lightning with Hoping Hand, though. It'll still deal a chunk to zap those, but it won't kill, so. Uh, that was such a good guard. Okay. Critical hit, it's fine. Doesn't really change the scenario that crit doesn't, so I don't really mind it too much. The annoying thing here is like they can max guard. <laughs> I can't really do much about that, can I? No. None of my plays stop a max guard. I'm gonna greed. I won't. It's gonna weather ball. And guard myself. Yep, okay. See the wood hammer into the lucky. It's fine. Oh man. This is fine though. We got electric train up, so the Rillaboom can't like priority glide me or anything. And now I can go for a few things here. I am curious if I actually uh what button I should click though. I already don't know. <laughs> I do not know my button here. Do not know my button at all. I'm just gonna go for a uh, sleep powder. To roll the boom here and go for a thunderball into the Zapdos. I think that's the right play, at least. I'm like pretty sure that's correct. We don't see a roll boom switch though, which is interesting. I was trying to read a roll boom switch. That's why I made that call. This could this be a U-turn though, or this is another wood hammer? Oh, this glide. Okay. Respectable. That's fine for me though. That is fine. I do think I uh hmm. I do think I have to go grout on. Yo, one of the fellow tournament streamers. Very true, very true. Instant, yeah, okay. The thing is, they like have to fake out my Venusaur here. They presumably have to fake out Venusaur here. Which makes things a little weird. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it makes things a little weird for me. <sighs> I was gonna switch, go for Blades. I'm assuming they have Zashi in the back right now. Which is definitely the best case scenario for me. Oh, it is Kyogre back. 
That is a bit annoying. Is this a fake out into my Groudon? Did this wait full read this? No. Okay, cool. That's fine then. Sugarberry. Not enough damage at all. Uh. Okay. I don't know if I'm faster or not, so I will. <sighs> I could greed and then say I'm faster, and then if they quick spout, I win the game. <laughs> or if they go for like a switch and a real boom or something. I think the obvious play for me is to switch out, like, protect ho -Oh and switch into Venusaur. So I could, like, hard punish that if I am faster with ho -Oh and than their Kyogre and they go for a Water Spout. Yeah, I think it's worth to go for the hard punish here. Because my position is pretty weird. Oh, they just went for Origin Pulse and they're faster. What is this Kyogre speed stat then? That's insane. We do live on both. It's not quite over. But it's just, like, really bad because I'm going to kill myself with Brave Bird. I'm surprised they're faster. But yeah, that play was very greedy by me. I could have just switched out Groudon to Venusaur. Uh, an instant avoids. Okay. Yeah, that's game. Unfortunate. And we're not gonna cut. We're not gonna top cut because our resistance is dog. <laughs> we are not top cutting. Yeah, unfortunate. That was greedy by me. I was like absurdly greedy, but. <sighs> I didn't have to do it. I could have just like Venu switched in, but I was worried that if I do that, they're just gonna go for like a water spout, kill my Groudon, switch out their instant to Rillaboom, and I'm in like a very negative position because of it, right? So I try to like get ahead of that that turn and go for like, okay, if they water spout here and they or they go for like Origin Pulse or something, I should be able to get ahead if I just go for like Brave Bird and uh Blades. But no, he was just faster too, and he got his Origin Pulse off. And I didn't even kill with my ho -Oh too, which kind of sucked. I was kind of banking on ho -Oh like killing or this being faster, and it was neither. So yeah, we just lose now. I'm going to quick Sleep Powder into Roll of Boom. <sighs> Damn. I think that was like very winnable. I probably should have just went for like lightnings into uh Ensign, but I was scared of an eerie impulse play on that turn one. That's the only reason I targeted Zapdos is for eerie impulse. And that Kyogre back kind of messed me. I probably should have figured it because like Zacian into potentially three fire types and a Venusaur that has Weather Ball. So that was like fair enough, right? We will uh keep streaming anyways until Inevitably, we get kicked out of top cut because there's no way we uh, get top 8 in these circumstances. But we will wait regardless, I suppose. Because there's only two matches left. Might as well, right? But yeah, it's not looking good. Because there's exactly nine people. I feel like we're going to be the bottom of the... No, there's too many 4 twos. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> So there's five five ones. There's six five ones right now. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, four twos. Yeah, there's no way, dude. Not a shot. <laughs> we had like some horrible resistance as well, so. What are you gonna do, right? Yeah, our resistance is so horrible. <laughs> and we're getting punished by people staying in to you. Which is sad, Kai. I started like 4 1, dude. I'm just getting hard resistance punished, anyways. This was not the day for the Pride Bird. <laughs> so solid day, good job. Thank you, thank you. Frankly, I think I had like matchup in the games I lost, so this played like really bad. 
And this ignored like one or two scenarios. And they played like their scenarios right as well. I got added. How far are we from um, the Japan tour? Probably like four hours, right? <laughs> A good four hours. Well, probably like six hours actually. It's only 540. Do we will be streaming during that? Ba -da -ba. Yeah, five hours. Okay. Which honestly, not cop cutting is kind of optimal. That's so I can get a break. <laughs> Good, do you plan on streaming that as well? Though I don't know if I will go live immediately for it, because like the thing is. If I watch the Japan tour while it's live, then we'll have to like wait. Though I guess maybe waiting's fine if we just like talk about the games and stuff and talk about like what we expect. And there's like a lot of tournaments. There's Japan, there's Hong Kong, and there's Korea this weekend. All three. Should I... All of them should be really interesting, honestly. For sure, for sure. Da 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 da. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know what I plan to do, though. I do know I will stream it, no matter what. It's just, will I start it, like, a few rounds right late? Will I... try to stream two tours at once? I probably won't do that, even though, um, Hong Kong's happening at the same time. This is a little bit overlord. Overload. You know, we'll do what we can, we'll do what we can. Only one more match left. It is a match that could potentially benefit our resistance with uh, Jackson Cole versus Drix VGC. Oh yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> we're ninth right now when it comes to resistance. I just checked. I'm literally the bottom 4-1. Literally at the bottom here. <laughs> literally right here. That's me. Right at the good old bottom. <laughs> so I need a pop, 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 pop. Actually, no, I need to have it like this. I'm going to full screen watch. Yes. Oh, it's being weird. It's not why if you remove the browser, what the heck? What the heck? It's kind of crazy. Um... That's a moment. Well, erm, um, awkward. There we go. Oh, I was... Using a different thing. I'm stupid. <laughs> Duh. Well, Battle Room's uh, playing with the Slowbro team. Kind of wild. The team me and Ben Fox worked on. Yo! My best friend. Oh, 
All right. Is there any other VGC people on the? It's Aldrich, of course. I think I send it to Aldrich then. Why not? <laughs> okay, I'm starting to regret waiting, honestly. <laughs> it's taking a while. So there is absolutely no point. There's not a single point at all. I decided I am simply impatient. So I'm just gonna raid Aldrich. <laughs> Later.